finesse with the reverb, herb, 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 herb. Yeah, we Are gotta, we on the air? Yeah, we on the air, but we still need to get an echo chamber in here. How can we get an echo chamber in the studio? Internet, you are tuned in to the Combat Jack Show Internet. featuring Dallas Penn. We got DJ Ben Hami, Kenny and Pete, Matt Ross, Super Producer A. King, I am Tom, is, is my microphone even on right now? I see the level blinking. Oh, okay. you talk, yo, that's a fresh low piece you got on there, B. Oh man, calm That's man. a you got the collar up with the with the with the with the B stripes. What? You, you know I like to keep it collegiate. What? You got the flood watch on the MP3. Woo! MPC. Flood it's the MPC or the MP3? A MPC. You got the MPC3. Flood, flood, you flood, you need to. Play MP3s on your MPC watch. Yo, flood. What? Do that, flood. Do that, Flood. Come at Flood just collaborated with Disney. What? Word. New Watchinati. Yo, okay. shout out to Flood Watch. Let's give him a round of applause. In that Disney money. They're about to put the Mickey Mouse on the watch. Yeah. You know how they say Mickey Mouse in Spanish, dude? El Mickey Raton. El Bandulo. El Mickey Raton. They're about to put the Mickey Raton on the watch. Shout out to Flood Watch. How y'all feeling, yo? Internet's was good. Dallas Penn got the pork. I swear to God, Dallas Penn got the, the bag of Baconets, pork rinds, $2 only. $2. Is that the official sponsor tonight, and the, man? And the, nigga, and the nigga got a water, too, yeah. He got a water and the Baconets. What up, Dallas Penn? Yo, if it ain't us, you eating butts. What up, yo? Pause. Chilling, combat, chilling. Good to be here. Good to be uh, another week. Another week, right? Crazy week. It, it's crazy how when I'm fucking with the show, I spend the rest of my week just going crazy so that I could come back here like, yo, shit is crazy out there. Yo, man, shit is crazy out there, which is why I love coming to the show, man, because for real, for real, this shit feels like therapy, man. Like I could come here and unwind and, you know, like my friends and family are here and we talk about all types of, like if I was talking about some of this shit, that we talk about here at home, or I'd be like, "Nigga, you crazy? Shut the fuck up! Take this change, <laughs> wipe, wipe your daughter's ass." <laughs> that, that's why I like coming too, because I like I like fucking with you, because I mean I don't you know I don't have no friends really, mm. you know what I mean? So I I, I get to come here, and I get to fuck with y'all niggas. But like, you don't I, have no friends, B. Like I don't I don't like I mean I know a lot of people, and a lot of people know you. That's right, that's right. But at like. At home and shit, nobody calls. As a matter of fact, yo, I made the mistake of giving some nigga uh, the home number. Who? Uh, just some dude because uh, Jimmy Valentine, a sneaker dude, Vic Dumont, <laughs> a sneaker dude. Because I was like, oh, me and him were gonna politic a deal. So I said, here, you know, take my home number. Right, right. On, this was on Sunday afternoon. Take uh -huh. my home number. Uh huh. I'm in the house. Give me a call. Mm. The nigga calls me yesterday at 3 a.m. Mm. Or actually, this morning at 3 a.m. Mm. Because he saw me on Twitter. Yo, Dallas. I, I saw you tweeted about that. Like, who the fuck does that? Like, where in But the you world? know what, though, Dallas? I kind of felt the same way about you when I first met you, B. Mm -hmm. I met you at the, at, the, at the bar, and, you know, I had seen your your, your, your pictures up on, on the site, and you really didn't know who... You didn't know who I looked like, but you mm -hmm. knew who I was, so... Mm -hmm. Just fuck with you. I was like, I know you, but you don't know me. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. eventually, I introduced myself to you. And I think that night you was you was high. You was high that night. It was at the probably it, what, what, what Belmont. Was? We was at Belmont. Bel at the Belmont. The they Belmont had some Lounge. Kind of HBO cast and crew party. Yeah, party. yeah. That was like what three three years ago. More than that, man. So so we exchanged math. And I think like three days later, man, you called me at eleven o'clock at night. Did I? And I was like, fuck. On your cell phone, though, my nigga. No, I, regardless, I was like, fuck. Nah, this. you can call a nigga on the cell phone anytime. You know what it was? I was at home, and the ringer was on, and we had just put the, my, the kids to bed, mm -hmm. and you called, and I was like, fuck. I just, I just linked up with an internet stalker. You know what I mean? I just linked up with an internet <laughs> stalker, man. No, no, see, now, my point is that a cell phone, you can call a cell phone any time of the day. Okay. But a landline, you cannot call that shit later. You gave a motherfucker the landline. I gave a motherfucker the landline. So did you eventually speak to the motherfucker? Yo, I spoke to him on the phone. I was like, yo. Don't uh, fucking call my house no more. No, nah, I was like, yo, dude, I mean, listen, let's let's talk over the weekend <laughs> like regular people hours. <laughs> Let's talk on some regular people shit. Yo, man. You know what I mean? He saw me tweeting. Like, like honestly, internet, if, if a motherfucker tweeting, don't call their phone. Fucking hit him on a DM. If you if you want to be, you know, 
Uh, yeah, but I mean, but Twitter has become. Uh, you want to be clandestine, you know what I mean? You want to be like, you, you know, know what? There's boom. there's no clandestine shit with Twitter right now. Bro. No, I mean, Twitter no, has no, no, become a DM, problem DM, like that. The DM, you could still, you could get a little I mean, think about it, combat. What? Think about it. People uh, people get real tight. I mean, there had to be arguments, fights, everything over Twitter. Because people will be like, not answer their phone. And then they'll be tweeting. And people people get tight. People get tight Oh, because of that. I actually got uh, in trouble. With that shit on sun- Saturday night, be like my wife has been on me like about being too public on the internets with like Twitter and Facebook, and now we're Foursquare, right? So it was Saturday night, and me and my wife I took my wife and my daughter to dinner. Mm. The boys were out. Where'd y'all go? Um, to this restaurant called Peaches in okay. Bed Stuy, soul soul food oh, restaurant. Right? Peaches, mm-hmm. so, y'all went to that fancy nigga shit. So we greens. sat down in Peaches, and before you know, before I could get my water. Mm-hmm. I put on four square that we was at Peaches, right? Two minutes later, this nigga walk in. Like, hey, I live across the street, but I just wanted to say what's up. What? So, so I was cool with that, cause, but my wife was like, who the fuck is that? I was like, you know, that's my people. You know, so why the fuck they coming in here? You know, I just, that four square shit? That motherfucking weirdo? Oh man, listen, yo, internet's for real. Let's have some protocol. Like, if I do this four square shit, and maybe I mean, I, I, I might have to scale back on that. But if I do the four square shit, don't run up on me unless it's like a public event. Don't do that. Why man. are you doing the four? Yeah, but you, not many people are doing the. You four know square. why, man? You know Isn't why? the four square shit done so that people could kind of connect in public. The you only know? person that's still on four square. But it's also like you get cachet from these establishments. Like there's some establishments you go to and you become the mayor of four square. Yeah, become the a, mayor of. Foursquare. I mean, the mayor. Like the that, nigga that runs the establishment, you walk in, the nigga that runs the establishment, be like, oh shit, it's, it's you. Let me give you ten dollars off your meal. Really? See, yeah. See, see, Combat likes that shit. That's why he likes clout because they give them coupons yeah. and them free shit. Like clout and all that Combat shit. would take anything. I, yo, I did not believe it. Yeah, that's that's true. Combat yo, will take some free Starbucks, shit. Starbucks, like they had some Starbucks shit. Like if you was the mayor. Yo, premium. If Combat got some perfume free, would he yeah, he would take it. He would take it. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring some perfume to my. He wife. would. He would take. He put that shit on, make believe like he liked it, and then he'll bring it home and give it to his wife. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, free is free, right? Oh, I didn't know Foursquare was. I don't know Foursquare. Foursquare was gives you, you cachet, b. So, so no, when, no, 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 <laughs> and he reached out. So, so he he greets you as such. He, no, he's like, "What's up, man?" I reached out to the marketing team, and we're gonna see what we're gonna do to put in place, you know, some type of perks for the mayor of, you know, Fleischer's. By the way, Fleischer's Meat Place, B. Fly, are you up on Fleischer's? Fleischer's Meat. Fleischer's so. Meat, man. Uh-huh. On Fifth Avenue and Union Union. I mean, uh, Fifth, yeah, Fifth Avenue and Union Street. I don't really cross that side of Union. Yo, Street, man, it's crazy. Listen, this is what I wanted to say, man. Um, I just feel real appreciative, man, because I'm seeing a lot of love on the internets, man. That's really translating into the real world. You know, a lot of internets are really, really fucking with us, man. A lot of cats are giving us a lot of respect. A lot of cats are, you know, retweeting our shit and supporting our shit. And I just really, really appreciate that, man. And and I, I know we've had some internal conversations and some of this some of these conversations have bled into Twitter, but it's kinda like the room seems divided in terms of what kind of love we get with the blogs after every episode. You know what I mean? Like me personally, like, you know, coming from the blog world, I really don't give a fuck if people post us on their blog sites. Or not because I know that you know our show is two two and a half. That's not that's not customary for shit for motherfuckers to be posting on their site. I'm saying it's a quote unquote technically a radio show slash podcast. So unless it's one of those momentous things like cats have like posted clips of niggas rapping, you know what I'm saying shit like that. But personally, I don't feel a kind of ways. I mean, I can think of blogs that that used to get. I mean, I can think of podcasts rather that used to get blog love. And maybe this podcast, this show, this radio show, this broadcast hasn't reached that level yet. Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, even the t- the typical podcast, though, runs 60 minutes. I'm saying we run two, two and a half hours. Well, now, but, I do but g- pe- people only have time. People ain't got money. They certainly have time. So how do you feel well, at that, 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 that the fact that some sites... Just don't automatically. I, I feel like we haven't done no. anything good yet. Once we do a really good show, you feel we haven't done anything good. Once what? we do a really good show, you feel we haven't done anything good. 
I think as soon as we have a good show, as soon as we do a show. So we haven't had a good show yet? We must not have. I mean, Cats posted the Just I'm, Blaze show. Oh, okay. So then we, finally we had Cats them. posted the Just Blaze show. <laughs> then we finally did a good show. Um, cats have, what other shows have they posted? I think some cats uh, have posted the Angela Yee show. Uh, no, oh, see, then Noah, you did it because I wasn't here for that. Noah I Cal- didn't know how good Noah that show Callahan. was. Noah Callahan. Noah Callahan, Bever. So then, then we have had good shows. Elliot then. Wilson. Obviously, we're not doing enough good shows. I think you know what it is. I think I, I'll take the responsibility of that, man. I just recently started sending out each episode to, like, you know, the bloggerati. Mm-hmm. You know, but once mm-hmm. again, man, I, but, I know how it is to be on the other side. Yes. And all that. Yeah, you don't have enough bandwidth in a day to cover all that material. No, no, not in, not at all. Not at all. And you know everybody I mean? wants your shit. I mean, uh, you know, th- there is a cachet to being on certain blogs. I still feel that way. So you really feel, man, that, that, that that's, that's what it is, man, that cats feel we haven't put good material? Because on the other end... I don't think so. Cats on Twitter... Love us, V. You know what but, I'm saying? But We're getting I mean, a Twitter lot of love. Is, Twitter is... It, I don't... Don't shit on our fans, Dallas. Hold on for a second. I'm not shit don't on our shit fans. On I'm our shitting listeners, on the v. medium of Twitter. Where okay. people think... Yeah. People think shit happens on Twitter. They think that it's valuable. Like, oh, motherfuckers retweeted something. Who gives a fuck? You just click a button and the shit retweets. Nigga, you don't feel a kind of way when they retweet you? <laughs> Honestly? Who's retweeting, though? Honestly? I don't... Uh, you know what? The only person that could probably retweet some shit that would make me feel official would be Ted Borno. Otherwise, otherwise, I don't give a fuck. Really. Ted Bono? And, and, and that's no diss. That's Ted Bono, no B-A-W-N-O? The I talk to. So you don't give a fuck if nobody retweets your shit? Of course, combat. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be fucking so, crazy. So what the fuck are you, you talking about? You, you tweet something, then you, I sit there and I just wait. I, I hope, I pray somebody retweets your shit. And if somebody don't retweet it, I just feel all fucked up in my life. Like, damn. My shit was not good. My shit was not funny. People don't like me no more. My shit goes up and down with every fucking tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if I put out a tweet and I wait five minutes, I don't get no feedback. You be going through that manic depressive shit. I be really on the bathroom ready to just steam up the water <laughs> and just end it. So, so I'm saying that, man. So you understand, man. So you, but you feel the kind of ways. Oh, we got the LEP in the house. I feel like we got we, we got the LEP in the house. We haven't we, done. We, we got the LEP in the house. We LEP haven't bonus done a show boys. yet. To, to, to really make people say, yo, you know what? Listen, I disagree, man. I think we're doing a great job. I think we're getting a lot of good love. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the internet, and the internet's obviously fuck with us. For all the sites. And by, by the way, shout out to Rap Radar. Shout out to Al Lindstrom. Yep. Shout out to... Two Dope know, Boys. Please don't step. Shout out to, to Two Dope Boys. All, shout Pop. out to all us. Shout out to Cal and Rock Pop the Pop Dub, Pop who post our shit every fucking week, B. Every big up, fucking big up to week, sell crack to yo, kids. I, yo, um, you know, Rap Radar doesn't have me listed in their um, listen. Li- I'm not on their blog roll. I'm not on their Twitter. What their the Twitter fuck, li- B? They don't fuck with me. Rap Radar does not like me. I don't. What happened, man? Uh, maybe I said some some shit about El- Elliot's um. Uh, Curls, light skinness. But Elliot, but maybe you I talk shit about. Uh, but Elliot, B-dots, has, do Elliot has given niggas. us nothing but love, B. I fuck with Elliot, but maybe that's just some queen shit where queens niggas can't really, you know, come together. I don't believe that. Could man. be that last swallow that uh, uh pause. Could, 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 could be that. Could be, it could be. It could be that he wasn't concierge well when he was here. I mean, listen, snacks grabbed the last cranberry pause. juice. Was it something that we did? He don't have no problem with you. Nah, because I don't have no problem with Elliot. Elliot is the man. Now, Elliot supports, man. Elliot supports. Now, then he just don't fuck with me then. You think that's what it is, man? I think so. I, think I mean, I know you have me. these erratic type behaviors on Twitter, B. Where you'll be Dallas Penn for this year. And next week, you'll next month, you'll be like something else. Like, uh, F your meeting. M E E T U N. I gotta tell you something. I, and then you be like, uh, true story, combat. I don't blame him for for not having me on his blog. When I come to think of it, because when I became at the meeting, yeah, it was in response to um to Danielle going to a meeting. <laughs> really? She was going to a lot of meetings at the time, and I was just like, so you directed it towards his wedding. <laughs> You're winning. His wife. That is his wife. It wasn't towards his wife, but I think it was just the whole idea. Do you remember when, when Twitter, everyone on Twitter was talking about the meeting they were going to? Yeah. Like, during that time, man, <laughs> I just had to say, fuck your meeting. Whenever someone talked about going to a meeting. So people would tweet about going to a meeting, and I just put a tweet out there, fuck your meeting. In response primarily to one of her tweets, though. Well, I mean, she was one of the people. Yo, man, we got to patch this up, man, because I don't want <laughs> no problems with Elliot, man. You don't have no problems with Elliot. No, 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 but you, you're part of the show, right? 
Of course. We, you, you, you're now, quote, unquote, elevated to the feature. I'm, status, I'm right? trying to tell you that. You're what, featuring right what, now, right? What's going to happen is, is. I've been on the internet. The Illuminati is going to knock on your door and they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you, yo. No, I've been separate a, yourself see, from Dallas Penn. I've see, been affiliated with when internet time, niggas before and got cut off. Yeah, I've yeah. been blacklisted before. See, DP, when you when you because of my feature, affiliation. Yep. When you're on the feature, DP, you with get niggas. The, you get to patch up. Me, I just get to push aside. So, do I need to? Do we need to? Do we need to? Do we need to have a meeting? I, I, I mean, maybe, <laughs> we get, maybe we could get Danielle in here. And I can apologize to her. I've been trying to get Danielle in the show, man. I've been, yeah. try, I've been trying to get it for the past six months, man. Well, I mean, maybe then we'll have a good show once we get Danielle. Shout out to Doctor J's. All right, <clears> listen, man. I, what, what is it? Ten twenty. Yeah, 10, 20, 20. You know, we got some great let's, guests here, and I know that they're on a tight schedule. Yeah, let's jump into it. You let's, let's jump into a, a break. A music break. We'll let's, come back with Let's it. jump into a break. We'll let's go back. into the news. Let's welcome our guest, the LEP Bogus Boy, yeah. straight from Chicago. Yeah, 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 I think yeah. it's their first appearance in Brooklyn, man. First what? fucking appearance. So on the Combat Jack show. So right internet. New York. What up? Chicago niggas, they be right at home. Chicago niggas. Shot Town. Chicago niggas, V. True. Internets, y'all are tuned into the Combat Jack show. Woo! Featuring Dallas Penn on www.pncradio.fm. Yo, Dallas, I don't want no problems with nobody, B. I don't want no problems with Dr. J's. You don't want no problems with radio? Like, if I say F you, no, you want to start, start saying F your radio? I don't want no problems with, with, with Rap Radar and, and Elliot Will. I don't want no problems with you. So let's, 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 let's squash everything. And anything, Yo, for real. Meetings, I B. fucks with y'all, Rap Radar. For real. Why yeah. y'all don't fucks with me? All right. We'll, we'll, we'll take that meeting beat. Anyway, internet. We'll be back, we'll be back in a second. I fucks with y'all. Numenati! Numenati! Elliot, why you no fucks with me? Yeah, we gotta we gotta patch that up, man. So um so what we doing now, man? We got it we got a chock full of guests tonight, man. We got the LEP bogus boys, we got LEP uh, bogus boys Peter early Rosenberg. And on some real like you know what? That's why you gotta always fuck with gangster niggas and hustler niggas. Cause them niggas, man, be on time for shit. Be on time, right? You know what I mean? None of that none of this crazy artsy, fartsy, artistic playing violence. Rolling up shit. whenever. I, it's better to fuck with niggas into violence. Than niggas that fuck with violin. Damn, so you already throw like this violent type of aura no, I mean, on violence, these cats. Violence in the sense that, you know, hey. like just obeying, just on, on a dean for time. Obeying protocol. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, man, like about a month and a half ago, man, LEP flew like a whole cachet, man, of like uh, bloggers and a journalists. Whole cachet and, of niggas? And, 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 and yeah, a whole cachet, a constituency <laughs> of niggas out to Chicago, <laughs> B. Uh, in connection with the release of their um, album, Now or Never, man. Is that when you got that hoodie? Yeah, that's where I got the LEP Bogus Boy I, Chicago I Niggas hoodie. I thought you would hoodie. have that hoodie on tonight, Tom. Yeah, no, me I, too. Did, I didn't have the hoodie on tonight, B. Okay. And I was just telling him how you was clowning me because I wore that hoodie for like about a week no, straight. No, sir. You no. wore that hoodie for a month. The whole month, of, the whole month of October, he yes. wore that shit. When you came yeah. back from that trip... You had that hoodie on for about four straight episodes. Well, I, I wore a hoodie for four straight episodes for two reasons, man. Mm. Number one, I was that's probably one of the most comfortable hoodies I've worn in a long time. This was, was when the weather was changing. You know what I'm saying? It was getting cold. What and was shit. it, velvet? Nah, it just felt like, if this shit felt like magic. I don't know what kind of fabrics they use. I'll ask them when they come on air. And secondly, man, I hadn't done laundry that month. <laughs> <laughs> so the shit was black, you know what I'm saying? You know how you could get away with some black shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, listen, so listen, man. So listen, man. Let's, let's, let's welcome them to the show. But before we welcome them, let's, let's do our news, man. Let's do yes. our, our weekly uh, news segment with Matt Raz. Ben Hameen, you got the, you got the music key? And now, the news with Matt Raz. First up, we have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, announcing new inductees for 2012. Okay. 2012 class is going to include Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay. Guns N' Roses. Yeah. And the Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys finally made it, huh? A lot of drugs there. Give them a round of applause, man. Now, let me ask you something, man. That's an all-white induction class. All-white everything, man. That's cocaine. It's all-white everything, man. We didn't have nobody. We didn't have no black we could have put in there. We couldn't. No black hip-hop this year, right? I know Eric B. and Rock Kim were nominated, right? I mean, not just hip-hop. Maybe some black rock or something. Bo Diddley type of... Somebody. Black people, for real, get yourself a guitar. You know the world is changing, man. You know the you know the music history is is being rewritten right now. There's, there's no place for black people in in, in the music history right now, B. Yeah, Say, my son was telling me the other day, yesterday in high school, in the ninth grade, you know his classmates were arguing with arguing with him about how Eminem is the greatest rapper that ever lived. B. Wow. Yeah, you know this who the is, greatest this, this rapper is, is? Who? Mac Miller. Mac Miller. That, that's who it is. Mac Miller. <laughs> 
That was the greatest album ever. Ever. Out of the back seat. Of it's not even out of the trunk. No, I mean, they're, they're, Dean is crazy, though. I mean, I'm not mad at... Out at, the back seat of a school. I'm not mad at that label. I'm not mad at their hustle. You know what I mean? And, and if, they, if that's what the people want, that's what they want, man, you know? Mm. I'd like to see the L.E.T. Bogus mm. Boys up there. You know what I'm saying? They put in good work. They put out good quality music. I got to tell you something. L.E.P. Bogus, Bogus Boys need to put a white dude in their clip. You think, you think that's what it is? I'm, I'm saying they're too black, too strong, man. <laughs> and they're Chicago niggas. <laughs> and they're Chicago niggas. So you think they niggas. too scary, B? I'm just saying that, you know. <laughs> you know, one Chicago nigga made it to the White House, fucked it up for everybody else in Chicago. <laughs> Like, Yo, what else is going on in the news, man? We got uh, NYPD officers being caught with uh, having a Facebook group. Facebook, man. Called uh, No More West Indian Day Detail. Group and had over uh, 1,200 members, many of which are law enforcement or law enforcement supporters using their real names. Firefighters as well, right? I think. Uh, yeah, but, but I mean, I think all kinds of city workers. Right. Mm. Um, Basically, you had them, uh, they were talking about not wanting to be assigned to West Indian Day Parade detail. And, uh, yeah, there were some exceedingly racist comments to the point where actually one of the posters told them watch out because the rats are in, in uh, internal affairs. I read some it. of those posts, man, on their, on their Facebook page, man. And it was what did it say? It was, you know, just like, you know, shit regarding, you know, referring to the people at the West Indian Day Parade as animals or savages yeah, they, or they had, uh, we should have one one more next year, get them all in one spot and then just nuke them. You know, crazy, you know, crazy type of white boy shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, white I'm not, boy fantasy shit. White boy fantasy shit, man. If, I mean, if, them, if them fucking police would have just did that shit on MySpace, nobody would have never known. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, them niggas, yo, police, racist police, go to fucking Friendster and just talk all the shit you want. Nobody will ever fucking know. No one will know. Y'all niggas could, yo, talk wild, racist shit, and, and people won't even know. But you went to Facebook. They went where, straight to Facebook, prime where time. Where everybody baby. is at right now. Prime time. Where my, my mother's on Facebook. <laughs> my mother's like, are you doing drugs? <laughs> are you talk about being high? Your mom's is on Facebook, B? My mom's on Facebook, son. So Word. I can't even, like, I need. You can't wild out like you usually do, B? Uh, man, you I'm save that shit for Facebook. Twitter? I'm tired of it. You save that shit for Twitter? Twitter's worse. Twitter got the rats on. Twitter got my cousin on. Are your cousin? Ratting to my mother. Word. Black Planet. Yo, man, shout out to the NYPD. Real, I'm Black glad Planet. they did that shit. Mihente.com. You know it's, 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 it's no question, man, how the NYPD roll, man. I'm glad they fucked up. Keep on fucking up, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep on fucking up, man. Just stop killing people, though. I mean, I would rather them post wild racist comments on Facebook than, than shooting unarmed people. Yeah, that's true. Than, than you know, uh, some cat just died, man, was smoking pot. In a school bathroom. Yeah, I read about that shit, B. And uh, the, him and the police, you know, got into some kind of scuffle. He and he died of some seizures and shit like that? Whatever. You Mysterious know? seizures and shit? Some shit. But I mean, like, you know, seriously, racist police, please, post Facebook rants. I'm down with that. Keep, Stop keep it on people. Facebook, right? Yeah, exactly. Keep it on Facebook. What else, Matt? Rondell High. We got the uh, 74-year-old math professor in Boston who was accused of running a meth lab with her 29-year-old son. Yes. Uh, basically, they charged the son earlier in the month, and the same charges are now, uh, now they're accusing the professor. It's a woman called Irina Christie. I think she's Russian. Mm. What? Russian's going to get it in. Yo, what state was this? Uh, this is in Massachusetts, right in Boston. 79 years old? Yeah, uh, Professor? 74. The yeah. Heisenberg shit, right? She's a professor at Boston University. What kind of professor? Chemistry? Uh, math, yeah. No, oh, no, oh, no, oh. That's formula. that Breaking Bad shit. Yeah. I mean, That's somewhere. that real Breaking Bad shit. By the way, I want to give a shout out to at Theodis Jones for designing our new logo. If you go to my um, Twitter page, at Combat underscore Jack, you will see the blue tape. We got the blue <laughs> Heisenberg. That Heisenberg, yo, this Jones, salute. That pure meth, yo. Well, seven, nine honestly, years old. I, I don't really want anybody following that fucks with the show or follows the show uh, to understand what the fuck that shit is. Like, if, if you got a whole bunch of people fucking with you that understand what that shit is. That, the blue meth? Yeah, that means you, you talking to a bunch of meth addicts. 
Mm. I want just a handful of people to be like, yeah. Just a handful of meth addicts. But if everybody's like, yeah. Uh, that meth, baby. Yeah, but, the, <laughs> but they ain't got no teeth in their mouth, man. Damn, I'm, you talking to a bunch of meth addicts then. Yo, listen, let me, let me do this, man. Let's, let's change up the format because I know that they were really gracious enough to come into town. We got some guests in town. I mean, do we have any more pressing news we want to talk about, Matt? I, I mean, no, nothing too, uh, too breaking right now. All right, well, let's, let's give them one more. Let's give that, to, that tone one more time. Ben Hameen. Matt Raz with the news. All right, well, this is official Brooklyn. This is official Internet. Um, I want to welcome to the Combat Jack Show featuring Dallas Penn, straight from um, Chicago, Shout Illinois, the, 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 the LEP what up, Bogus what up, Board. What up? Shout, now, shout, 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 shout. What up, Brooklyn? What up, what up, what up, yo? What's up, man? What's going on, man? What up, what up? We got Count and Looney in the house, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. up, man? How y'all feeling, man? Man, we good, man. Oh, man. Every time we come to New York, man, we bring the rain with us, man. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. The last time y'all was in New York, every it rained. Nah, every time we in. Every New York. time. Yeah, man. So you haven't curse? seen a sunny day in, in New York curse? yet, huh? Even when it's this sunny, it's curse? gray like hell around. Okay. Okay. Well, welcome, welcome to Brooklyn, though, man. Yeah, what up, man? Welcome to Brooklyn, man. Yeah, I really this, appreciate y'all coming it's an honor, down, man. Oh, we fucks with it's New York, it's man. Man, it's a pleasure being with y'all, man. Y'all flew us out to Chicago a month and a half ago, man. Did y'all have a good time? I had a great time, B. Like, I keep telling people, like, that was one of my best, like, business trips. Like, y'all wow. flew cats out there. Y'all treated cats with nothing but hospitality, <laughs> Thank man. Thank you, man. We, Mon, what's it? Maggiano? Maggiano? Yeah, Maggiano. Yeah. Maggiano's that's Italian one, restaurant? That, yeah, he referred that place, yeah, man. That's yes. one of the E-Favorite spots. Yo, that shit is crazy, B. That shit was beautiful. How's the record doing, man, now and never? How's it doing, man? It's doing oh, man, it's doing good. Yeah. We got a lot of, uh... Shit. <laughs> a lot of, uh... Internet... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, now or never, man. Blind, that's that's, 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 that's that now or never money? Don't yeah, look directly that at that. Money, man. <laughs> that was blind. Oh, but, um, no, man, we've been getting a lot of uh, international feedback, man. Like, you know, guys over in Japan. We got some Japan bogus boys over there, man. Oh, word? You know the I'm Japanese saying? bogus yeah. boys? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The killers. You, are y'all planning on going out there? Yeah, we yeah, finna yeah, go out there. Yeah. We finna go to Japan, yeah. Australia, yeah. and London, man. It's lined up? We got gangsters all over, man. You well, that's nice, saying? man. Yeah. Now, Internationally t- known, locally accepted. Tell the internet what is the LEP bogus boys, man. Man, we this gangsta-ass group out of Chicago, man, and ain't taking no bullshit. And, uh, man, we just, we working hard, man. You know, from the south side, we represent the whole side of Chicago. But mainly, you know, we represent the south side of Chicago, the low end, no the grimy end, low side, Inglewood, and these bitch. The low end, the grimy the side. The low end professionals, right? Yeah. yeah, you know, like the city go from the hundreds to the lower numbers all the way to Wolf Street. All the way to two hundreds, you know what I'm saying? We on the low end, 20, 24th. You know what I'm saying? Inglewood, that's all like low end. Now I heard there was some history with the title Bogus Boys. Yeah. What's, what's what's the history behind that, man? Well, Bogus Boys. A lot of people think that when, when they say Bogus Boys, they always try to say like LEP Boys, because they don't like to say Bogus, because Bogus is like fake. Right. But Bogus Boys, where we come from, where I come from in Inglewood, it's a um, it's a hit squad that Larry Hoover had, mm. and um, mm. that's who used to send his guys out, you know, to go handle some of his business. And so, you know, we just making the name live on. Plus, you know, yeah. you know, we take care of our business. We hit us when it come to this music. So, you know, we we getting in, we get it out, we live, man. You know, hitting hard, man. Now, Bogus boy. now initially there was four of y'all, right? No, it was uh, only it was three of three it was three of y'all, yeah. and, and 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 there's some history with you know yeah. the evolution of the Bogus Boys. Share yeah. with the internet what yeah. that is, man. Uh, well, you know we lost a couple guys, man. Like we lost Laro, recipe, and we lost Laro again. Another Laro, we, uh, aka Pac Man. There was two Laros. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying one little yeah. Laro, aka Lil Lair. The other one was Laro, aka Pac Man. That know, was some co- co- coincidental. Yeah, name shit. Just they named us, you know. That's crazy, but, man. Yeah, they got both of them got killed, man. You know what I'm saying? Fall so. victims to the streets. So. Yeah, it's real out in Chicago, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Now I heard a funny story about how you joined the group. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I heard go. a funny story about how you just, joined the group, B. 
I just explain the story. You yeah, just, well, you know, to explain to the story, I mean, explain know, the story to the internet, because they they probably weren't tuned into the same channel that you was. Yeah. <sighs> See, there's some different shit right here. There's some real shit. So we gotta most definitely let everybody know everything yeah. in between the little blue, the little fine lines, the little bitty itty bitty words that you gotta see with a microscope. Yeah. A magnifying glass. We gotta tell them that shit too. Though. Yeah, I man. Mean, shit, you know, man. A, I hate to say this story because you know, like. We brothers now. We brothers. We brothers. But look, to stop, make this long story short, uh, you know, the CEO of the company, E, you know what I'm saying, used to come down to the area, to the Icky projects on the low end. And man. you didn't know E, didn't right? Didn't know nobody. Right. None of them. You know what I'm saying? Balling ass nigga, man. Cars, every different cars every few months, you know what I'm saying? He had a girl down there. He used to come down there, floss and hide. All the girls want him, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting heated, like, man, we got to poke this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Because the motherfucker was coming in your neighborhood, yeah, flossing. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talking to, talking to your chicks. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you. So, man, you know, before, before we got a chance to really, you know, try to poke him or whatever, you know, somebody reintroduced me to him, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, my man, he about to start a label, you know what I'm saying? Well, I, Y'all um, rapping down here, you know what I'm saying? Y'all high, y'all need to put yourself together, put it together. I'm like, cool, let's meet up. No matter what, I'm like, damn, that's homie, you from the Pope, man. Homie, my <laughs> guy, let me know. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? It's good. That didn't go down, homie, a heavy, man, you know what I'm saying? No type of what? Type of repercussions would have been behind that. But, you know, make a long story short, that, we aborted that plan. You know what I'm saying? And we came together, LEP Bogus Boys, you know what I'm saying? We've been brothers ever since. We've been like, what? Ten plus years, you know him and him and Mooney, you know his nephew. They went, one went to the feds, he went to the feds. Mooney went to the penitentiary for a few years. They got out, and we back at it. You know what I'm saying? Hard enough. He's my brothers, and don't get no tighter. on let like nobody else. It's my niggas. You know what I'm saying? And we rolling. Yo, boys, I'm gonna man. tell you what I appreciate about y'all, man. Is when I came to the city, not only did y'all show a lot of people love, but I show, I saw the love. That the city was giving y'all, man. Like, Chicago really stands behind y'all, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a yeah, hard yeah, enough yeah. to crack, too, Jay. Yeah, yeah man. And, and, and the thing is, what I really appreciate is, regardless what the past is, it seems that y'all are taking... Because I think a lot of, you know, a lot of brothers, man, you know, had they had opportunities, would have been great men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it seems that you guys are, you know, taking the greatness that, that y'all have. The, yeah. the, the, the creativity and the whole nine and, and, and fueled by the... Negative shit that y'all went through, mm-hmm. y'all y'all are really fueled to like go into like a, a positive direction in terms of like your goal, man. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell us about the music, man. Tell us like how y'all come up with the music and and, and you know what I'm saying. What what drives y'all to write the shit that y'all write, man? Basically, yeah. like, oh, well, yeah. basically our music is like like the last six months of our life. You know what I'm saying? What we going through? You know, we named this one now. I never, you know, we lost a lot of guys like. Couple of a few of the guys that's riding with the movement. We got a big movement, you know. Everybody want to see us push through the door. You know what I'm saying? We lost a lot of guys to like guys got killed. Mm. A lot of guys got football numbers, life. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So we feel like you know it's now never. We got to bust a move for the guys that are still hanging in there. You know what I'm saying? We got to provide these jobs for them, man. Provide a way of life so we can get out the streets. You know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Losing each other, and that can happen to me or him. You know what I'm saying? We still in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not never, man. Then another part of that, man, it's feel like we want to bring lyrics back to hip hop, man, from a street point of view. You know what I'm saying? It's saying gangster rap coming back or left or whatever. It never left. You know what I'm saying? And we here to let y'all know that. And going away, so we are like soon as you step out the door, it's still in your face. So how could you say gangster rap is either a future, present, or past? You I feel? mean, yeah, you can't say that shit is extinct because nah, that shit is know. really. Still it's going on. Like, that shit re- happens in real places in America. Wait, wait, Maybe yeah. not New York no more. I mean, New York is not the same as it was, man. Right. New York is not the oh, same as it they, was. Hey, they still get in. in. We no, no, some, they get it in. We got some homies out in Brooklyn, man. You know, oh, the homies like East, East New York, yeah. yeah. Put yeah. my child, man. Tax them, man. East New York never got flossy, but... But the rest of New York. The, but 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 I've seen some skateboards in East New York. Baby. I'm just trying yeah. to say that. I've seen some skateboards in East New York. When I think of Chicago, I think of I think of the D. I think of uh, St. Louis. I think of like hard body Midwest. Uh-huh. Yeah. Kansas City. Like Kansas City. Nobody really hollers about Kansas City. Kansas City is fucked the fuck Kansas up. Kansas City, they, they, they there, man. get it yeah. busting. They ain't yeah. playing out there, Kansas man. Kansas City, they ain't yeah. fucking around. You that, get your ass laid out up there. Yeah. Yeah. The Bulls. The Bulls. <laughs> Uh, Dead Rose, man. You know now, what I'm saying? You, now, I could tell. I, I'm going to tell you one thing. I could imagine. I could only imagine 
how the real streets of Chicago is because because the parts that y'all had us in that shit was beautiful. That yeah. shit looked like it was like off a, off a storybook. Yeah, so I yeah. can only imagine how the fuck the hood is, B. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know what yeah. I mean? I can only imagine how the hood is, man. Yeah, yeah. The hood is definitely not like what you saw. Right, and I but, can imagine. Um, but best believe, though, you know, Shit. you down there with the L.E.P. Bogus boys, you know, it's an official pass, you know. Just come on out there and kick it whenever you get some free time. Nah, no, no doubt. Hit us up, man, and just come on down, you know. No we, doubt. We open, it, we open it up for you, man, so you can have a good nah, time. Nah, I know y'all will. I know y'all will. Don't let them pretty neighborhoods feel you neither. Cause, nah. Because you know, the, the, the gangsters get their girls and get them sex and ace, you know what I'm saying? They don't supposed to be up in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we laying low, you know right. what I'm saying? Let the grass grow green and that thing, you know what I'm saying? We're going to lay low smooth and that. Good manicured grass. There you go. <laughs> now, one of, the, one of the things that impressed me about your your album on top of the music was the artwork like yeah. the cover artwork like i don't know internets if y'all have seen the album cover to now or never but it's a beautifully like it look like some watercolors right yeah, some now, watercolors now i'm gonna tell you the story yeah tell us the right. story because initially yeah. not writing them had like just the ski mask yeah and that shit was looking real ghetto like almost like i, don't, I really don't know if i want to fuck with them because the motherfuckers look depressing right now you know what i'm saying uh, shit. <laughs> you know what i mean so look the, the <laughs> so look, it. check this out. The actual album cover to the LEP uh, Bogus Boys Now and Never tape that we just dropped. It was um, I think we like I think we seen that shit like what we did the, we did the cover over. Okay, and we like seen it like maybe like a week before, and when we seen it, we was like, Phew. right, and it got leaked, and when it got leaked. It was, it just shot everywhere So and then We was like The fans was really Fucking with it And it was crazy How they put the shit together Because it was like Matching images Of me like Everybody when they seen it They was like Yeah that's counting That's moon Yeah You know so Yeah Who's the artist Who, Who's the artist That did that man And um I'm not trying to Put y'all on the spot <laughs> That's all good That's some all beautiful good. Artwork man You got it Shout out to Cooks and Castles. Okay. Cooks and Castles did it, right? Yeah, yeah, that was some last minute shit. Like, down there last day before we was going to put it out. they like, hmm, here it go right here. Mm. Now, now, tell us about your relationship with Crooks and Castles, man. Man, and the homies, good. man. Wow, man. Love kicking with them niggas, man. Let's <laughs> watch to the club. Did Crooks and Castles do, do your do your apparel, do your sweatshirts? No. But not but these. Mooney, you know, put these together. We got some jackets. We got hoodies. We got uh, all let, type let, of shit. But let me tell you a quick story. The hoodie that Combat Jack got from y'all. Yeah. The week. When, when he I came heard he wore a week here, straight, right? How long? A uh, month straight. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Every episode. That's what's up, man. That's what I'm um, saying, man. I mean, get I mean, it, not just, get not it just good and musty, man. Not just, <laughs> not just here at the show. He, he wore like on some straight hustling nah, shit. I was out oh, at shit. Like, the parties and shit. Indictments, huh? Yeah. <laughs> nah, you know what it was, man? Like I, like I was saying, man, that the hoodie... Like y'all design your clothes. A lot of people yeah. don't know that y'all really design clothes. Yup, yeah. yup. I like, got a, I got a team of people that I work with, and um, they definitely would down. You know, we all work together, and we just be shooting, we be sitting in a room, and shit. We just be brainstorming, right. you know, and come up with shit. Now the jackets that y'all wore the night that y'all performed out there was crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, them shits was crazy. Yup, yup. Them man, shits was crazy. Lie. But anyway, so internet, the, the the LEP they flew us out there, and they gave everybody, everybody. How many people did y'all fly out there? 50 people yeah. Imagine that 50 They people. flew 50 people From all over right Yeah House them and fed them Exactly They flew out 50 people Hospitality out the ass what, what record company's budget That was on LEP LEP Don't ask no questions B Don't ask no questions Infrared records That's that's the rubber band <laughs> budget <laughs> But you know But you know what We felt like it, it was a great opportunity For us to get up And personal And close with y'all Because record labels Used to do that Major companies used to do that back then, and You're we just wanted to take it back. Like, you know, emails is that sometimes that shit get oversaturated to the point. Sometimes I don't even live, go through all my emails like that. So, what's a better way, you know, to get y'all in tune with us? You know, take us out of our environment and just come kick it, you okay. know. And y'all, we just want to make sure that y'all had a good time. Now, we had a great time, man. Come kidnap y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get kidnapped. But the thing is, everybody got get back. Yeah, yeah. inside the gift bags with these sweatshirts, right? And you know, yeah, like sure. I wore a, I wore a sweatshirt at the airport, man. This little <laughs> white boy looked at the shirt. He figured out it said Chicago niggas and told his pops. And I was laughing, but the thing is, 
the material be that shit was it wasn't no janky sweatshirt yeah, yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. I'm saying it wasn't jank it was no not no promotional shit the shit was comfortable <laughs> don't y'all to wear it after you, you know wear what I'm it for so, a month, you wash it, it well, you fall good. asleep in it man. well the thing is this is what happened so I flew back to New York uh-huh. and I was just running. And it was okay. like the most comfortable shit that I had in the closet. It was black. So motherfuckers <laughs> couldn't see if I had no stains on it. Well, and I hadn't done no laundry that month, you know, basically. So that's why I rocked the shit for a month. But then, you know, body I wore that okay. shit with pride, be like what? Like, yo, well, like you don't fuck with damn. Chicago niggas? My hat is off you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate so, that. Man. Yeah, man. Um, what else was I going to ask you, man? My only complaint when I was out there, man, was I didn't make it to... um. Harold's man, wow! Oh, I didn't, man. I didn't make it to Harold's at all. You man. wanted to see what, what I, Wale? I really, was yeah, I really want to see what the Harold shit, shit was hot, about, man. man. Don't listen to Wale, man. Huh? Don't listen to Wale. <laughs> don't don't listen to Shout Wale. out to the homie, but don't listen there, man. Yeah. Shit is not overrated. I eat it four times a week. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some cats snuck out and, 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 and got it, but I wasn't yeah, on that I know. bus, man. There you go. I know. Um, let me ask you, man. When y'all come up with some music, do y'all ever have any creative differences, man? Uh, not really. Uh, not really. I ain't gonna lie. No. At at the working with somebody for ten plus we years, I can that. automatically hear like, okay, he ain't gonna like that. Yeah. Sometimes I hear come to the studio, I already have some shit laid. He be like, yeah, and he do the same thing, or yeah. you know, we will work a lot, but mostly we work together. The right. whole shit. So, you know. And where's where's most of the production come from, man? Um, actually, um, we Just we've been um, we've been real in tune with with a lot of producers. So our production comes from a lot of people, but like mainly uh, Justice League, nice, um, mm. Hit Boy, nice, uh, Chasing Cash, nice, uh, Cino. Um, we um we working with Jaleel Beast tomorrow. Nice, um, yeah, Rocket Man. Man. Them are them are people out Tune. of Philly. Uh, DJ Tune. Uh, uh. Uh, Con- we got something with Kanye too. We just sent us. Right, so I was about to ask yeah, y'all, man. Yeah. I was about to ask y'all. Are y'all getting Chicago love Merch. from like yeah, yeah, some of the yeah. other artists and the producers? Frank like dudes. Any no ID? Any is no ID? Like fucking well, with you? You know the trip that our part is is that we've been knowing no, no ID for a long time. Right. So we got like a whole lot like collection beats from him. Yeah, right. yeah, like <coughs> we got so many beats from from no ID, like damn near the old ones. Right. You know, we still fuck trying to get y'all, y'all gotta go back and, and, and re listen to them, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so y'all might be doing something with Kanye? Yeah, we, oh, we, we did, did. We did it already. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Did he did he spit on it as well? Or? Yeah, he yeah. did the beat. He did get the, the fuck out of here. Hook, and and the what's, what's, yeah. what's, what's the, can y'all share the title or y'all don't want to let, let that out yet? Nah, nah. nah. nah is it crazy? Mm-hmm. Nah. <laughs> is, is, is it crazy? Did he, did, is it crazy? Did, did yeah, no, nah, it's stupid, man. Right. It's some it's some shit that is what you expect. Right. You know. It's a heat rock. It's a heat rock. It's a heat rock, right? Say something, man. Say something. It's dash in the building. That shit's crazy, man. How it came together, man. College dropout, Kanye? Not. I mean, actually, yeah, it's it's real soulful, man. Mm. It is. Now this is this is this dash of A and R, man, right? Yeah. I was just behind the scenes, man. Yeah. On the fact side. (laughs) Jack of all trades. There you go. There you go. How y'all feel about the comparisons? I mean, and and it's overwhelming the comparisons between y'all. And um, Mob oh, D. I knew you yes. Yeah. Hey, man. I don't know. The only thing I can say is, man, you know, it's, it's, it's an honor because I love Mob D. You right. know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. I guess because he got braids and dark skin, light skin. It's <laughs> to us. You look, like the, you look like the shooter, B. Yeah. You look like the shooter. <laughs> the the you look like the fast talking. You look like the yeah, shooter. Hustler, That's man. the G counter. You know, yeah. Mooney the hustler. You know? hey, we look like what we supposed we to look like. Be, you know? either, either one of us might be responsible for having this jewelry. You Yo, know the saying? jewelry right there is, is crazy, B. <laughs> Thank you, the pieces are ridiculous, Thank B. You, crazy, crazy. What's next for y'all, man? What uh, you about to say? You about to say? You about to say top. something? Huh? The top. The top. Yeah. No, with next projects we got, we finna re-release this. Now nah, never with a uh, a few features on them with uh Bon B, Rick Ross, nice. Raheem Devine. Uh, we gonna put the Ace album on there? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay, then after that we're gonna do the Don't Feel the Killers Four. I got a hush contract. Then we're gonna drop the 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 movie Bogus Boys Action Pack this fuck. We I saw own, we saw a clip of it out. Yeah, in we doing our own stunts and shit. You know Niggas was getting shot, B. Yeah, Niggas was hey. like, it looked like actors was getting burnt with the gunpowder, no, B. No, yeah. the trip that yeah. part is is that we was actually shooting one part and we didn't have a permit. We was just on some gorilla shit, right? And we Shoot. got um we got a tech 
Like blank gun, motherfucker sound real. I told the ass, don't go out there. You, we've been out there three Police times. Police will kill your ass. Went out there for the fourth time. They was waiting on us. They had the helicopters. A hundred police officers while was AKs. out there waiting on our ass. Make all it so types bad. of guns and everything. That's the it. whole that's fire squad. Hey, how they lay all our ass down. Y'all motherfuckers get. My guy was still. We gonna shoot your <laughs> ass. You don't put that camera. I'm like, they put the playing. fucking camera down. They playing, G. They, and he got the shit on camera. That's gonna be like us. the behind the scenes. Yo, I, I, I can't wait. Yo, yeah. I, y'all, y'all, I just noticed something, man. We've had a lot of people in this room, man. But y'all two straight up pause got the cleanest fucking teeth, B. <laughs> like what the fuck? You see my man's teeth? Like like what? Like is that some Chicago shit? Like yeah, yeah, got yeah. the cleanest I, teeth, B. Yeah, hygiene is, <laughs> hygiene is definitely. Uh, you see that teeth? That was yeah, like, ain't, they ain't got rapper teeth. Y'all don't have no rap, teeth. no chips, nothing, B. What the fuck? Like seriously, man. Like who's your orthodontist? Give that man a, a shout out, B. Y'all got the cleanest fucking teeth. In Chicago, yeah. B. <laughs> but you want to know something? It, it's funny. When you get out of New York and, and you see, like, how cats hustle uh, or ha- just how cats put it down other places, you look at their hands, you look at their teeth, you look at their whole shit, and people be clean as a fuck. Mm. <laughs> hey, 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 hands got calluses, man. Yeah, yeah, so blue I see calluses. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, turn, hands, turn them on the other side. Let's see. <laughs> is there any crust in the nail, oh, though? man, hell you. What, nigga? Yeah. Any crust in the nail? Okay, yeah. okay. That's some that's some it's rapper shit right there. G. That's some New York. That's some New York. He's blue collars right yeah. here, man. <laughs> yeah. So what, what what y'all do for Thanksgiving, man? Hey, some bird, man. Yeah. You know, we y'all took a break. Fried, that fried turkey. Bro. The fried turkey. I'm never going back to the oven again. Nah, is this fried turkey for real? Fried turkey, fried turkey is. I'm jumping. Truth. You know, I got four baby mamas, so I'm jumping from house to house. Ooh. You know, what I'm saying. You got four baby mamas. Yeah. Yo, you gotta sell some records, oh, man. You gotta sell some records. You better sell some records, or you better not sell any records. Hey, all, my, all my checks, all my checks going to his name. You know what I'm saying? I'm shining them over the moon. Yeah, yeah man. you ain't picked up on that chance so while the mixtapes is free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you get my money, bitch. No, 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 don't, don't fuck around. Don't fuck around. Nah, 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 keep it, don't nah, fuck around. They will man. come. Shout out to my BMs, man. That's right. They will come love. for it. They will come for it. For promotional use only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that back, boo. Yo, um, how are the labels treating y'all, man? Are they rushing y'all? Good man, we work. You know, right now, man, we just chilling, man. Right. We working on our music, man. We moving around. We collecting all this money that we we getting as much as money. Show as we mo- can. a lot of show money, right? Yeah, a lot of show, show money, money. Right. features. Just, right. Trying to do as much as we can before it's time to actually go over there. And we have to figure out a situation. But right now, we got a couple offers on the table. But you know, we they, we they, they haven't been convincing, right? Yeah, they are com- they are convincing, but we we still feel like we we can get more. Wait right. them out, wait you know? them out. That's, I mean, y'all y'all like in a great position. Yeah. They, so. being, they being modest, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they being modest. Yeah. This is thirty million dollars. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know I'm a lawyer, right? You, you know I'm a lawyer, right? Oh, you know, I, I, I did like fifteen years in the music industry. No, wow. Sure. And my my advice, especially right now in the game, mm-hmm. like because really I you know I think labels have become obsolete. Mm. Yeah. And if you That's get a, if you get a local buzz like y'all do, yeah. That's incredible. If you get a nationwide buzz right. like y'all do, that's even you know icing on the cake. And y'all now y'all are talking about y'all have an international buzz. Right. My advice to y'all, man, is mm. you know if it's a check, don't fuck with it. If it changes your tax bracket, then fuck with it. Right. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really because because when I look at when I look at the music industry and I look at like you know like the kid Mac Miller, shout out to him because he get independent right. artists. You know he get them he make them see that what he does what he just did isn't far fetched. Right. You know and um when you look at somebody like Wale, shout out to him. That's my homie too on the major <laughs> and he did one what was it one forty eight and at first week and yeah. Wale did. 160 exactly and he's on the major and he did right. that on the first on the week deal too. right you know i was like damn you know and so. the, and, the, and the blogs fuck with y'all heavy too yeah, man yeah yeah the Shout blogs fuck with y'all radar, yeah rap Rachel radar drive all all hiphop.com hiphop dx um non right um two dope boys two, two dope, dope boys. boys two dope boys y'all will start posting our shit more too. are they not posting your shit they are uh-oh. But they should post it more, right? So I'm sending I mean, a shout y'all, y'all out y'all to them. I put em. a lot of shit out, man. I'm for y'all to be shout out to them. Yeah. 
Well, you fuck know, with y'all. You know, one, one of them is in New York, man. How long y'all in New York for, man? Shit, we had uh, we had a Friday. We always in this month. Y'all, y'all need to take some lunch with uh, Mecca, man, so they could, uh, you know, okay. straighten that shit out, man. Okay, Let's straighten it out, dude. Oh. Straighten that out. Go ahead, Dash. Shout out to two dope boys. They do post that shit all the time. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you don't get on the internet, man. Oh, oh, y'all, y'all not, y'all not on the internet. Nah. <laughs> that was, <laughs> oh, that was yeah, two years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah, shout out to two dope boys. My bad. My yeah, bad. Gotta, yeah. yeah, got it. What up, Becca? <laughs> Yo. He shot the fuck out to two dope boys. That was in Chicago. Or yeah, he sure was, man. I'm tripping. Dog. Yeah, he was out there. Huh? Love. So listen, man. I know y'all been out all day. Yeah. Yes. And and I know y'all are tired. And and like I said, I'm See. really honored that y'all came through. I'm not Thank gonna you. put y'all on the spot. <laughs> Thank you. You know, but we got our DJ right here. It's up to y'all. If y'all don't want to rap, y'all don't have to. I'm That's saying. Not and, Huh? Is it both? No, no, no. We we've had like we've had cats we like MOP up here, and MOP is like we, we don't want to rap. We like don't we rap. Tired, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What y'all got, man? Give us something exclusive to play. Y'all got a Lupe Ooh, record? Give us that, man. Why would you do that? Where's that? Where's that at, man? Let's let's let's, let's, let's Hold on, that. I don't like y'all attitude. Wait a minute. Wait, what's what's attitude? I need to hear a little bit more wooing. Oh, <laughs> ah, Lupe. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're we gonna get into yeah, this. Yo, comment that everybody saying. came through with the crispy kicks too. New LeBron, yeah. Jordan Ten, Jordan. I mean, this is yeah, Chicago. The Straight red and black Chicago Bulls. Know. Chicago Bulls, right? Yeah. yeah. The season about to start <laughs> back. So, up, so I said, "What the hell? Why not?" And Chicago get busy with the sneakers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, Child, leaders. Child leaders. Yep. Yeah. St. Alfred. Yep. Who else is out? Um, success. Leaders. Um, who else? Uh, we won't be able to, to lock that in. He got Windy City Soul. He got he got some heat on the shoes too. Windy City um, Soul. Yep. Hard body. Yeah. Hard body, Joy. Yeah. That's my homie. Um. I fuck with I, we fuck with all the sites. Uh, Fight Club, shit. I'm going Thank up. I'm trying to get there tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah. Get it while get it while y'all here, man. Get it while y'all here. Well, listen, man. You know we about to play the song. What's the, what's the name of the song? This song right here is, is featured L.E.P. Bogus Boys, J. Kicks made the beat, and it's called what's Zombie that? Land. Zombie Land. Which? Yeah. What folder? Tell us about Zombie Land, man. What's, what's, what's the concept behind that? Zombie Land, man. Uh, it's a Walking Dead soundtrack. Bur- yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, Some horror um, movie shit, man. It's, it's, right. it's just like, uh, in my verse, I'm thinking of the hood. You know, zombies, man, the dope things. Two, three you know in the morning. Yeah, zombies, G. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, man. When we go when we go to our music break, we're gonna play that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I'm glad that y'all stopped through, man. Like man, I really thank appreciate. You for it. I fuck with y'all and, and trust, man. Like I'm gonna be wearing that sweatshirt. Thank Wait you. Again, man. I'm, wearing a hoodie. I'm trying. I'm trying to find how I can get one. Cause you want a hoodie? I thought. I thought you said that wasn't your style. Some, no, no, no. Hold no, for a second. For only for a second. Well, you know your PR man is out there, Hanif. Uh, and Hanif, has, yeah, I saw Hanif earlier. Okay. And Hanif has done a great job. So we're gonna yeah. talk to Hanif, to Hanif to make sure that the entire crew of the Combat Jack Show featuring Dallas Penn. Now, what size you wear, Dallas? I, I can fit a two X. No, you can't fit no two X, nigga. You can't fit no two X. Is that a, is that a Chicago two X or is that like an athletic two X? <laughs> yeah, that's me right there. Yo, anything you want to leave the? Uh, <laughs> Yo, anything y'all he, he runs our big and tall line. Big and tall. No, no, but I'm serious. I'm serious because they was in, in here clowning me about the LEP, and now they won't. I'm not sure. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. It was. It was. It was the fourth. Show in a row, the fourth show, and considering I seen you in the streets with it, I was just like, "Yo, combat is really not taking the sweatshirt off." I didn't take it off me for a month, like for real. <laughs> what was the debate? Seriously, like what was the debate? Well, I forget. <laughs> nah, I wasn't. I was just you know, rocking the shit, dude. Swagged out, swagged out. Yeah, swagged yeah, out. No, it was lo- lo- love is love. <laughs> love is love, B. Love is love, man. But hey, we got to make sure that we lace all y'all with one, man. We gonna Please, make man. sure that happens. When y'all coming back in town, man? Shit, probably uh, next week. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't leaving. They yeah, y'all been to Brooklyn before, though, right? Yeah. 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 
Good, yeah, good, good shit, man. Well, but once again, man, welcome to Brooklyn. Welcome yeah. to the Combat Jack Show. Thank you, Internet's man. the LEP bogus man. boys, man. Yo, this success to y'all, man. This is a staple you, in the city, man. Yes, sir. Is, it's an honor for us to nah, be thank here, you, man. man. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right? Yeah. Yo, let's, let's, let's play Zombieland, man. Zombieland, LEP bogus boys. Yeah. Exclusive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Intro, yo, hey, King, I gotta put you on the spot, man. I gotta put you on the spot, man. We've been doing this show for a little over a year now. <coughs> We've had some illustrious guests. Yes. A, a huge array of guests, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yet you play the same four drops <laughs> for the past fucking 12 weeks, B. You play the Mad Rapper. Yeah. Who else? You Premium play Pete. Premium Pete, who's fucking on the show. You play Elliot Wilson. <laughs> you play Elliot Wilson. Yeah. And what else? That's it. Oh, that's Pete, it. Pete Oasis. Oh, Pete Oasis. Hey, Pete Oasis, dude. What's up, man? Nothing. Like we had. How, how, how many shows have we had man. right now? Uh, About 63, 64, 65 shows, B. Yeah. Why the same three or four drops, man? No, no particular reason. <laughs> 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 okay, listen, listen, That's listen. That's the only way I get out of it, right? Okay, <laughs> listen, man. Can we like? And, and once again, this is no offense to the you nah, know the aforementioned drops. Not waiting. Droppies. I'm, I'm actually waiting for your interns to give me the drops. So I can my go. interns? Yeah, your interns. The I thought combat, they were your interns. The combat Jack Show feature Dallas. Okay, interns. can you get on your dean and get off your dean Martin? <laughs> and let's get let's get all the drops, man. Because I can't. You know, no no offense to premium people. You sitting right fucking here, B. Fuck premium people. <laughs> Your internets, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad and honored, man, to welcome Peter Rosenberg Cheers. to the Combat Jack Feast in Dallas Pension. Right, there you go. Right. What's up, sir? I'm good, man. How are you guys? I'm doing very good, man. Straight from Hot 97 over to PNC on internet radio, man. Right, straight from the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Slumming. You know Slumming right now. This, this, this is an honor, B. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, I get really psyched to do real hip-hop radio, like, when I can talk, talk, talk. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I can actually... Chill out and curse and shit. I enjoy it. Do you miss it, man? Do you miss, um, you know, underground radio? Yeah, yeah, I do. I miss my college show. I really do. I did my college show for like seven or eight years. Like, all did, the years. Hold on, was, on for a second, Peter. It, it took you seven eight years to get out of college? <laughs> no. <laughs> it took me five full years. Okay. It took you five, five years? Five full years yeah. at University of Maryland, but I stuck with Turpins. that show. College, yeah, college Park. College Park? College Terps. Park, yeah. All right. I was there when we won the championships. And, um,. You know, and that was actually my fifth year, so I was happy I stayed that fifth year. But you know, I did. Then I did college radio for years after that, so I, I love it. Like I, I just, this is my heart. This is my passion. This is why I got into it. So it's nice. You know, I talk two minutes at a time in the morning. It's fun. I love it. It's a dream job. But at the same time, this this shit feels good. You know, it's yeah, always just as a good vibe. But well, once again, man, welcome at any time. Thank man. you. Now, people don't know, man, that that before you popped off on Hot ninety seven, that you were actually. On radio for 10 years, man. Yes, no, people think that, that I just... flew in on a white That's spaceship. That's what I thought. That's what I know, I, I know. And I can't be mad because I would have felt the exact right. same way. I was right. thinking about this earlier. I was like, because I was thinking about coming up here tonight and what I would ask me. And I was like, I would have thought when I showed up, if I was Combat Jack, if I was Dallas Penn, if I was tons of other people who I have a friendly relationship, but I know they were guarded about me at first, I would have thought, who the fuck is this random dude that they just handed over the Stretch and Bobito time slot to mm -hmm. and gave the morning show to? It, it's and the the crazy part is is that for me, I do I was doing all the steps to getting there. Like, right, mm -hmm. I was doing mm -hmm. everything, literally from. From listening to to Marley Marl and, and Chuck Chill Out and Red Alert when I was seven right. to college radio to mm. grinding in D.C. But listen, D.C. is a shit hip-hop market. Right. Like, no one cares about what we do. So no one really knew, and nor should they. Right. So I understood. To be honest, I got a lot of – there's a lot of people I've had weird relationships with, and I always understood because if some new random dude, white at that – came up out of nowhere and got all this shit, I'd be like, who the fuck is this guy? But I, I promise, I'm 32, and I've been in radio since I was 17, so wow. it's, been, it's been a long time. Right. Right. I'm, not a, I'm not a freshman. Now, I, I understand in the past that you've had some trouble with your honest feelings about DC radio. 
Oh, you did research. I did. I do my Mother research. 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 I, I do my that. research. I heard like you know I I I've come I've come across something that said that when you were I forgot what station in DC. Yeah, I was on PGC. You, yeah, you made a statement that DC radio sucks. Yes. And then like the the town got up in an uproar, and yes. you were in the newspaper. Yes. And then you you were I guess uh, unceremoniously. <laughs> no, wait. A DC has a radio station called uh, WPGC. Yes. Yes. It's wow, the big crazy. one. Is the it, well, it was. It was. Home, Tigger still does mornings there. Tigger's still there. But that's where Tigger became a star, was doing nights there. Mm-hmm. Um, and you guys may remember, like, DJ Flex, who had songs like Water Dance and yeah. shit like that. Flex, who's See, a I went to legend. school in D.C., so I remember oh, so you- having to listen to, quote-unquote, hip-hop radio in D.C. Yes. And I was like, yo, I miss New York. Oh, man. yeah. It was yeah. hard. It was hard for all of us who loved hip-hop, even right. growing up in D.C. You know, so many people in D.C., have a relationship with New York. Like, my parents are from New York. So I was always in New York. My family's from Rockaway. So I was always in New York. So to me, radio in D.C. was always like, eh. Now, there were legends who did amazing things in D.C., like DJ Iron, who's still around. Um, DJ CeeLo, who eventually became a big dog pit bull. There were dudes who definitely put it down. Right. Um, there was a guy named Conan, who's still on in Baltimore, who used to do a, an AM radio show every night in D.C. There were, listen, there are people who love hip-hop there. But essentially, we all kind of dreamed of being in New York when it came to shows and radio and shit like that. And most of us, you know, a lot of the people DC have family in New York. So right. my, my feeling was always like, I wanted this. You know, and when, when I was on with Tigger, when I was Tigger's intern, like, I, I remember we, he, he was like, we're going to do a hip hop show. He's like, well, they're going to let us do a little joint. I'm going to let you get on. And I was like, oh my God, I'm in college. I'm like, that's amazing. I grew up listening to Tigger. And then we started doing it, and it was like, the only things we were allowed to do were like, he was like, we're going to play Mystical Shake Your Ass. Right. And this wasn't Tigger's doing either. He right. was just doing what he had to do. It was like, we got to play Shake Your Ass. Then we're going to play Nothing by Nori. It's cool, all right. Like those songs. Then we're going to play Black Star Respiration. Then we're going to play Make Him Say Uh. And it's like, I was like, this isn't the hip-hop show right. I it, dreamed of but doing. It, but it was the hip-hop that I, w- I would imagine was accept- was acceptable to the general D.C. public. Yes, the w- wide public, yeah. yeah and, and, and D.C. is one of those strange places, man, because having spent some time in D.C., it took me a while to really stop fighting the system and understand that D.C. is a diff- it has a completely different culture, man. Totally. Go-go culture is so permeated and, you know, in the essence of DC, it's not a. It's really not a hip hop town. People can choose to like hip hop, but it's not a hip hop. Yes, town. It, we were the people who chose it over Go Go. Right, and you know, like people like me. Now, do you like Go Go? Yeah, I, I got love for Go Go, but you have love for Go Go once you leave. Right, when you're there and Go Go comes on, you're like, can we play some fucking hip hop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when you leave and people are like, what's that noise? You're like, oh, hey, that's Go Go. That's backyard. That's junkyard. That's rare essence. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, you have love for, it. and there are Go Go records I love. And that right. I'm passionate about, um, but growing up a hip hop kid, you kind of if most people I fell on the hip hop side. Right. I was like, that's what that was my passion. Um, most people don't know that you interned for Tigger at BET. Uh, no, at, at PGC. At PGC, yeah. how was that, man? How was it, man? Tigger, Tigger got me my first job in radio, and you know, Tigger's sort of a maligned character in hip hop. Yeah, man. Like he gets Tigger may be the most un. I know I'm biased because my man, but he may be the most. Pause. 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 And that, the fact that I have to pause that <laughs> speaks exactly to what I'm saying. Tigger may be the most like unabashedly hated on dude for no reason in the history of hip hop. Right. Like Tigger, thank God the basement was the last good thing in hip hop TV. Mm. And Tigger actually freestyled, whether you thought he was good or not. But he did his thing. I mean, he, 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 stayed, he, was, he stayed on he beat. He his own. He didn't falter. And he never had written. So right. always would get in there and freestyle. Mm. And you know, a lot of people don't know this about Tigger. I'm going to drop. Let me drop bombs. Drop a bomb. Tigger's in the fucking video for Sally by Stetson Sonic. Mm. All right? Like, he is... Tigger is He's old. in the video. Now, where, yes. where, where's our bomb at? Did we... Did, did yeah, we have a, a bomb? King, a king is making... Like bombs? Let's use, let's use one of those flex bombs. You got a flex bomb over there? Yeah, we stole, we stole Flex's bomb. Yeah, you man. have to. You Come can, on, you, you have to. Get flex, um, let Flex know. But yeah, he, 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 Tigger was in the Sally video. He's from the BX. Mm-hmm. Like, he's his hip-hop roots were... He taught me a lot about hip-hop. Wow. And so I always was like, everyone hates this dude because he's nice to artists. Um, I gotta be honest, it's a hard thing to mock until you're in this situation. Right. You can either be a dickhead who's very negative. Boom! There you go. Tigger was in the Stetson Sonic Sally video. Wow. Um, you can, you know, or you can be someone who wants a job. And, uh, 
Tigger was a friendly but very knowledgeable and passionate about hip hop dude. And as far as my dealings with him, he always introduced me to everyone. He let me get on the turntables when Black Star was at the station. I was 19 years old, and then he made the phone call to get me my first job in a small market. You know That's what crazy. I'm so he, Tigger, I'll, I'll, I'll forever feel indebted to Tigger. You know, it's funny, man, because what I'm learning just doing this internet radio show with big aspirations is that. You got to learn how to walk, how to walk both sides, man. You really have to, how to know, have to know how to, you know, keep it street and urban and authentic. But at the same time, you really have to be able to translate that to the general market, man. Mm -hmm. and, and and now that you're in the general market, how's that feel, man? I don't know. I mean, I think I'm decent at it, but my money doesn't feel like it is. <laughs> like I'm trying to. They're, get not, my... they're not treating you right over there. No, man. no, my money is hot. Fine. Right. I got no complaints about my money hot. I need right. to get my other money right. Okay. You know, like cats like Flex. Are an inspiration. Flex doesn't ask for raises at hot. Right. Flex just gets money. You know what I'm saying? He just has a million things he does to get money. And mm. so does Cypher. Cypher's always been, you know, I grew up without a large emphasis on money. Like being a sort of upper middle class kid, I was by no means rich. My parents drove a Taurus. I was regular. Right. But I never thought about money per se. Like I never had a lot. Nor did I ever worry about it. So money wasn't your inspiration at this, all. This was this was something out of passion. I didn't start saving money until I got my full time job. I had when I got hired at Hot ninety seven. I was probably twenty seven years old, twenty six years old. At that point in my life, I'd probably never bro broken two thousand dollars. Wow! That I'd ever had in my life. Wow! And uh, so you know. Then I'm like, I gotta get focused. I'm getting married this, this coming year. It's ah. like, so it's like, you gotta get start. I, I need to start preparing for right. all this shit. And so I wanna be able to translate enough. Once I realized, I, Saif always says, Saif's like, man, you need to have one of those moments where you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, am I what? Am I white? I need to take advantage of this shit right, right now. Right. And like, he always talk, we always talk about artists who figure that out. Right. Like there was, I can't think of a good example right now, but there's certain artists who are walking around, they look and they're like, I've been doing this hip hop shit for so long, but I'm fucking white. Hmm. Let me, instead of fighting that I'm white, which I always wanted to do when I was young, you know, if right, you're of a course. white kid in hip hop, you never want to focus on being white. Then I got up here and I was like, if that's a gimmick, that can help me spread what is a, ultimately a very positive agenda for hip hop. Right. Fuck it. And, and that, that's what makes white people give me a job. So you're about to really get your white arm right now. I, I, I got to tell you something, Peter, being black for me, that's my gimmick. Being black? Yeah. And you, you do it with the fucking best of them. Now. That's my gimmick. Because, I, I mean, listen, my parents put me through Lutheran school. Like, the but what is Lutheran school, B? Lutheran school is where you learn to read well. Okay, Lutheran school is is. What do you mean to be well? The, you learn to read well. Okay, Lutherans focused on on the freedom of speech and just kind of helping people learn to fucking read and kind of taking like the poor. But isn't that what school is in general? <laughs> Not necessarily. Not, school wasn't always about that. School wasn't. The, school was teaching people vocational shit, teaching people how to fucking Tinker. sit straight. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know to be sociable. School, school is really about being sociable. Right. But the Lutheran people were were their thing was to really kind of uh, uh, give everyone the ability to read, give the motherfucker working in the field, mm. the the negger, the plowman, the ability to read. When did you go to school, Dallas? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Lutherans, that's how the Lutherans keep it. That's how the, the, the Lutherans think we're still based in an agrarian uh, uh, economy. Yo, Peter, man, one of the things that I appreciate about you, man, is the fact that, you know, a couple of years ago we had a, you know, a little Twitter beef, man, mm -hmm. and, and I think it was very entertaining. Um, and, you know, a lot of people fed into it. Um, I thought it was pure entertainment. But then, you know, you reached out, man, and, and we patched things up. And ever since then, things have been cool, man. And I think there's very few people in a position like yourself who, you know, might feel challenged or whatever. And like, fuck this. Let's move forward, man. I, so I definitely really appreciate well, that. I, 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 listen, you had the feeling that you probably should have had. Because I, I said, basically, I came at you in a way where I didn't know who you were. Right. And you were kind of like, hey, you should fucking know who I am. And as I did my research and found out, you were right. <laughs> shots fired. Hashtag shots fired. And a bunch of other people like, yo, this, this dude's, you know, he's a cool dude. A, he's a cool dude. B, he's in the game for a long time. And I never care. Like, I'm going to be honest. I never care. I will squash it until someone has said something that's horrible that can't go back or punch me in the face. 
I'm always good. Now that hasn't happened, right? No. Good. Knock on. Good. 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 Now your man in the back is laughing like, now that's not gonna happen. No, you know, he's a shooter. Once I knew I was going to Brooklyn, I brought Dominicans with me. Right. Um, no. I haven't. I'm yet to get punched in the. I got jumped once doing a remote. Broadcast Where? Where? In D.C. In D.C. Of all, of all places. And it was in Maryland. It was on campus of the University of Maryland. Why'd you get jumped? True story. Don't know. Don't know. D.C. motherfuckers thing. jump people, Yeah, this is a weird shit. I, I was out there with my street team, and I'm doing a live remote. I'm on campus, blah, blah, blah. This is, this is some funny shit. Everyone's going to laugh. I'll tell you the time. It was horrible. But I give you all permission. Not that you would have needed it to laugh in my face. And I'm sitting there, and I look over, and there's this dude literally crouched in a fucking three-point stance. I shit you not. Really? Hand on the ground. Shit like you he's know. a defensive lineman, right? Mm -hmm. Looking at you. Wait, wait yes. for someone to go hike. Yes. Blue, 36. Exactly. Apparently, I went hike. Pause. And, and this dude, and this dude, you know, levels me. That's not a pause. That was a good word to use. And, um. To prove. But I didn't even. I, I, li I was so. I saw him running towards me and assumed this is someone I know who's coming to goof around. Mm. Lays me out just like on a tackle. <laughs> Before I know it, I'm laying down. The dude's just throwing haymakers. So, listen, I'm not a fighter in the first place. What happened to your street team? They were behind the truck. You didn't bring the we had a huge fucking truck. No Dominicans. Out. You didn't bring the Dominicans. No shooters. No no <laughs> no no, Dominican Drew would have been good at that time. Oh, would have been really useful. No, you know who may have been there? It was my boy Reggie from down from DC, and it may have been my man Amir Boyd, who now rolls with um, Ti and, and Grand Hustle. Okay, and they were street teamers then, and they were behind the truck, and I literally just covered up. Like I'm, all, you can't start a fight on your back. You right. cannot start a fight. I can't fight to start out, but, let alone on my back. But there, I mean, what happened? So then, dude gets up so and then I, runs I cover up. I swear to God, this is the funniest part. I swear on everything I'm worth. I just started going, help, help, help. <laughs> I started yelling, help, help. And these dudes ran out from the corner. This dude jumps up. I shit you not. Gets on his bike. The dude who jumped me gets on his, his bike, bike. Starts riding away and starts yelling, who's the F word for gay people? Who's the F word now? I was like... Did I say that to you in your head? I don't even know you. <laughs> Anyways, my boys chased him. They grabbed his fucking bike. He kept running. We brought the bike. What kind back. of bike he had? Mongoose. It was Canada. a whack bike. That's that love boat, dude. I finished the. That's that love boat. That's that DC love boat shit. It, 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 it was some weird shit. That's crazy. Man. And I, I finished the broadcast. And you know what my boss gave me when I got back? What? He, if you did something good at the radio station, my old boss Jay Stevens would give you a paper coffee mug. Cookie. No, a paper. Cookie. Paper cookie. That would be listed hey, on the wall. Cookie. I got a cookie. For you got a cookie for that. Well, congratulations. Scratch and sniff. I survived it. Sorry for that long story, but that was nah, pretty no funny. problem. So, so Pete, man, do you feel people come at you, man? You know, I feel for some that reason? whenever I run into people, the biggest line I get from people is, "I don't know why people talk so much shit about you." Right. <laughs> and I'm always like, you know, I wouldn't know they did unless you told me right fucking now. Right. Um. No, I, I I never feel like people do, but I get the general sense from other people saying that that there are a lot of people who say shit about me, but. You know, that just goes to my head. Right. That just makes me feel super I, important. I don't think I'm that important until I, I hear shit like that. I feel like you turned a corner a couple of years ago anyway, or a year, a year. You turned a corner recently enough where it was like, wait a minute. Like, Peter's always at fucking SOBs. Always. When no one is at <laughs> SOBs. <laughs> On the nights where there's 12 people there. <laughs> like, he's always there, you know, on some fan shit. And I think, you know, just that consistency, you turn the corner where people are like, nah, man, he's, you know, he's a fan for real. He's just not getting a check and then disappearing. No, I mean, I, I, listen, I wish I could. I'm stuck. This is my lane. Right. Like, I chose this lane and went, I was like, this is who I am. I'll never be able to do it. I haven't. Since I started Hot 97, I no longer can play commercial music. I, because of Real Late, I'm so focused on underground shit that I no longer can even get a check to play mainstream parties because I never pay enough attention to the music. Mm. So, you know, I knew people would think when you're Hot 97, there's a certain thing that comes with that. But honestly, I'll be totally truthful, guys. I know the cats who are real are going to eventually figure out what my deal is because right. I'm so consistent. Like, my musical taste is so consistent. My... 
commitment to the kind of events that you see me at, you don't see me at fucking greenhouse. No. Uh, you do not. If I'm forced to get my boss is on me about that right now that I don't go out enough. Yeah. I never go well, you out. you got to listen to your boss, too, though. Uh, I know. No, I'm you, trying you, to go you, out. Yeah, you Does your play boss the... know that you be at SOB's every fucking Tuesday? <laughs> play the white card, when man. Play the white card. Go out, man. Kiss, kiss babies, man. Kiss babies, man. No, I'm trying to learn that. But I appreciate you guys saying that. And I also appreciate that why it would take time for people to be like, why should I like this guy? Oh, I get it. He's actually committed to the shit that we love. That's why I like him. Right. And, I, and I know that as time's gone on, I got cosigns from a lot of artists and DJs first because I was playing their music. Mm. So I think it was a lot easier for a lot of legendary artists to embrace me because I'm literally the only person on commercial radio who like they're like shit that, that still, reaches I, out to them. I still get to hear my record on right. 97. Right. Even if it's at 1 a.m. on Sunday, mm -hmm. I get to hear that. And so, but for fans and other and other um, cohorts in the in the hip hop world, it takes time for people to embrace you, and I, I respect that. Do you feel it's harder now that you're at Hot 97 to really still stay authentic with your musical ear? No, because my boss gave me carte blanche. Mm. I, I'm the luckiest DJ in the world. Mm. They basically said, your lane is going to be Sunday night's underground hip-hop. I tried out to be Miss Jones' producer. Right. And a total blessing in disguise, because I, I wouldn't have survived. <laughs> I, I didn't get that job. Right. And hashtag shots fired. And um, and I, he was like, hey, you're not going to work for Miss Jones. What you are going to do, how do you feel about doing your own Sunday night underground hip-hop show? I was standing outside my house in Maryland. I said... This I feel like that's my dream. Who's this, through. Ebro? Ebro. Okay. And who had seen my videos online and like really didn't know that much about me. But I'd, I'd already been calling Hot 97 for years. I'd met with the previous program director, John Dimmick, mm. just on forcing it. Like, can I please come up and meet you? And um, when he gave me that chance, he said, that's going to be your shit real late. Now, I didn't know at the, at the time he was plotting probably for a morning show. Right. In retrospect, the only reason he brought me up to New York to put me on randomly was to be like, let's show this guy we really like him. The way he described it was, I want to integrate you into the fabric of the radio station. Yeah. And that was real late. And then a few months later, he sat me and Sife down at this restaurant down the street. And he was like, "How did you got, we didn't know each other. The only thing I knew. At all. Barely. The only way I knew Sife was that when Saigon wanted to beat my ass, Ebro said, call Sife. Sife knows Saigon. And I mm. called Sife and he helped me out. Now, what was that about, man? That was when, do you remember when Saigon and Just Blaze had like a ridiculous little falling out on Twitter? Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. They, they, we, had, we had Just Blaze on last week. Man. Oh, really? Yeah. They had this emotional back and forth. That was funny. Yeah. It was, I still think it's funny. Saigon didn't hear it. This is always how beef starts. Right, because Saigon was threatening to release uh, Greatest Story. Something like that. On his own, yeah. And, and yeah. then they just got, got nasty, but then they wrote this, this thing back and forth of how much they loved each other's friends, blah, blah, blah. So when I talked about it, and we re I was reading the tweets, I played the Brokeback Mountain theme. Yeah, you, you poked fun at it. It's, a, it's a hilarious, it's a hilarious, you right. get that drop, it's a hilarious strum to use, right? So I did that, and of course Saigon didn't hear it, because it was light, you know, it, was, it wasn't even that serious. But as always is the case, one of his peoples heard it. And before I know it, before I leave that night, I'm getting texts like, yo, you calling me gay up there? Uh, What's really good? I will fucking find you and punch uh, you in the fucking face. What's man. really good? It always starts with what's really good. I was so shook. <laughs> nothing, mother. Nothing's nothing. good. I'm up in these not. fucking tweets, motherfucker. Apparently nothing's good <laughs> if I'm getting this. But anyways, I hit up Saif, and we ended up cooling it out. And then, of course, as often as the case with initial beef, right. it ends up becoming usually among the more positive relationships right. you have. And since then, with the exception of him knocking out Prodigy at my birthday a year later, Damn, yeah, we've, had a very good, we've had a very good relationship. Yeah. And when his album came out, he came over to my, my, my pause, came over to my apartment, recorded an interview. Like, he's, he's, my, he's my man, and I like Saigon a lot. But at the time, again, who the fuck is this dude? He's super loose. I had the same thing happen with Jim Jones, who became a good relationship as well. Yeah, Jim Jones is known to be loose as well. Oh, Jim, if you say some shit, Jim hit me up. Jim called I dissed him. I dissed him. Oh, yeah, my brother sent me a text reminding me. The whole Saigon thing was pre-Twitter. This was just text. Text. This was just yo fam. Just hit me with the yo fam text. But uh, Jim Jones, we were talking about the MTV's top MC list. And I was right. like, Jim Jones MC. Ha, 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 ha. Which was, which, you know, I mean, is, is no, un he, understandable. I try. And, and to this day, Jones always like, you don't fuck with me as a rapper. Like, he, he knows that I'm a hardcore underground hip-hop head. And it's, we have different tastes. But he called up the station and was like, yo, Cypher, yo, it seems like your man isn't uh, acquainted with the city quite yet. Uh, I think you better inform him. <laughs> but I was like, uh, hello, <laughs> Mr. Jones? <laughs> 
Long story short, we talked. I explained my opinion. You know, generally, when you get the chance to talk to people, I'm honest. I'm, right. I'm never... I don't care but does, what does, but, but does Jones really think that he needs to be in the top MC list? I don't think he personally fucking right, cares. Right. He was just probably like, don't assassinate me. Right. And I get that. And at the time, he was growing as a New York artist and as someone who sort of was a big character in New York. And I love Jones' character in hip-hop. I think Jones is a... No, I'll, I'll, there's a list for, for cats like Jim Jones. Jim, they, We should have had a top ten buzzy rapper list. Buzzy rapper. Like... Buzzy rappers, like rappers with super buzz. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, and, he, and that was him. Yeah. He was yeah. buzzing. But I, of course, took it little. I'm like MC. I mean, but Jones isn't a traditional MC. No, not at all. Um, but you know, as it went on, I never talk reckless shit anymore. I try every once in a while it slips because you're on live radio. But I always try to say shit that's founded. And, you right. know, I, I really, I know the flashy thing for ratings and for uh, ending up on web trashy websites. Is just getting on the radio and talking reckless and gay rumors, and we really don't do that. And I, I really try to keep my criticism. I interviewed Fifty today. It's an it's airing Friday. It's a, it's a fucking great interview. And I said to his face, I'm like, listen, I know you hear me on the radio and the things I say, and I'm True. always saying, I'm waiting for the real Fifty to come back. Right. I'm always saying, that. right, right, right. You said to Fifty, I know you hear me on the radio. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize the true the ad lib you were saying. <laughs> And that's hard. That's awkward to say, but generally, cats like that, especially cats like that who get it and know what my role's supposed to be and know what their role's supposed so, to be. So, so, do you find yourself sometimes caught between being honest and like I can't be honest because of my position? Yeah, listen, you pick. You got to pick your. You got to pick your battle. You have to. I'm and not New gonna... Yorkers are very sensitive, and and rappers are extra. extra <laughs> rappers are like the most sensitive motherfuckers on the planet. The, you know, we always talk about. Delicate flowers. It's kind of crazy that VH1, <laughs> they are delicate flowers, the whole right. rap group. But, like, we always talk about how it's crazy that VH1 has hip hop honors, right? right? That should have been Hot 97. It should be the Hot 97 hip hop honors, yeah. right? But it's not. So, Siphon and I was talking about what could we do. And we're like, yo, what we should do, because of how much we love comedy and hip hop, is the Hot 97 hip hop roast. Mm. But we couldn't. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't, you can't do fucking it. do that, no. dude. Someone would get killed. Yeah. So, it, that does make it annoying. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're the jokes, the kind of jokes I want to make. There's shit we could do that's hilarious. We, the jokes we do when we're not recording or recording, we delete it, mm. are way better than the shit we can ever say on the air because mm -hmm. everyone's so fucking sensitive. Right. But that's a lot of pressure, too, though, man. It is. To it, deliver on a daily basis and try to be as cutting edge as possible, but knowing the limitations either on the corporate side or in terms of like just, you know, your, as, as A. King would say, your constituents. Yeah. That's, that's, that's really hard, and man. And you need favors back. Yeah. You know, listen, like, I, you need artists to do your show. Right. Mm -hmm. we, we want artists, you know, but that's the thing. I know with 50, for example, that my relationship with G-Unit and my relationship with him is such that He's not going to get mad. Not, at this, I, not unless, at this point. Unless I say something that's incredibly defamatory. Unless you SMD him, he's not getting mad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I have to say something nuts to 50. But otherwise, he's like, yo, I get it. And when I showed up today, we did the interview. He played me records that he knew I would fucking like. Right. And I'm like, yo. I, and I went on Twitter. I'm like, 50's new tape is this shit. So it's 50, back, it's, it's 50 back, man? The shit he played me today... Is, was fucking awesome. I like Fifty, man. Yo, it sounded like I always, shit. I always want Fifty to win. He's great no, for hip hop. No, he's great for hip hop, and he's he's not a rapper. He's bigger than rap. He is. And once you realize that, then I think it's easy to have appreciation. But he makes great fucking songs. And like I told him, I said the space you were last in when I was in love with your music was War Angel and the fucking R and B mix. Is that is that pause? Is that a pause? I was in love with your music. When I was in love I said with music. You. No. No, that, that, that's good. Okay. I'm clear, right? Yeah, that's clear. Okay, Thank clear. you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, pause that. Pick up the flag. Pick up the flag. He said music. He said music. He said music. He said music. Pick up the flag. He didn't say when I was in love with you. the pause flag. No, when okay. I was in love with his music. Okay, I got you. Um, but that War Angel and the um, the Michael Jackson shit, the yeah. R&B shit. Yeah, yeah. I remember it was the week Michael died, and Mr. C was on Friday night, and he plays that... They say I'm not lyrical. They say I'm not. A, I was, it just had a moment. He right, has these of course, moments of that course. are fucking amazing. Yeah. And so I, I, the shit he played me today was fantastic. It wasn't R and B'd out, and the R and B shit that was on it was my favorite R and B hip hop because no one makes a fucking R and B hip hop tune better than G Unit. Nah, like, nah, they, nah, nah. Banks. They all make great those love jokes. Yeah, yeah, you Actually, yeah. want to play as a dude. Right. And they had they had some joints on there that, that sounded great. So I'm excited for Fifty. Now I was surprised today, man, doing some research on you that you have. About five million 
views on on, on YouTube? I think seven. But, I mean, so, is it seven? Who's accounting? But yeah, like 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 particularly from the your your early videos, yes, man. The when you were, videos. exactly, man. What drove you to do that, man? Like back in the day, man. Duke sucks. Yeah, the Duke, Duke sucks, sucks and uh, yeah. put some cheese on it. Yeah, Duke sucks. And you were actually really good in, 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 in oh, uh, put you. some cheese on it, man. Dude, Duke sucks should hit two million on this uh, next tournament because when the tournament comes around, the Duke sucks video. It, go, it goes up. Assuming they make the tournament, which I'm sure they will. Right. Um. Basically. I was between jobs. Mm -hmm. I had just gotten fired from a... I've been fired mad times, like four or five times. Right. And I got fired from my talk radio job, which was a job I really loved. And um, we were sitting around, and, and one day my brother and I throw, throw some Ds on it, came out, and YouTube was just getting kind of crazy. And I was like, ha-ha, throw some cheese on it. We're like, that's Were funny. you rapping like casually back in the day? No. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, I'm a hip-hop kid. Right. I grew up writing rhymes. I told my girl the other day she cracked up. On my old mixtapes in high school, I would do like a, a fucking doo-wop, Tony Touch freestyle at the beginning of them. I was horrible, but I was never a rapper. Right. Yeah, I got to find the tape. It's crazy. <laughs> but I was Is like, Justin Bieber better than you? Yeah. Yeah, Bieber's okay. probably better than me. That's crazy right my there. Voice is, my voice is decent. I always... I almost dropped a verse on a, my um, one of my artists on their last album when our whole crew was on it. I was going to do, like, because the whole crew was on it, I was going to do, like, eight bars, I, but I, my, no one wrote it. I fuck with Bieber because Bieber is helping old motherfuckers eat. Yeah, for Christmas. Yeah, cri yeah. I mean, even before that, that, that joint with Raekwon. You said he's Vi Viagra for old rappers, right? I, Cialis. He is, he is Cialis. Cialis. Yeah, it's not Cialis. Yeah. It's like dialysis. <laughs> <and Cialis. laughs> That's real bad. That's a sad, sorry state of affairs. Uh, yeah, but so I was like, someone's going to do, someone's going to make a stupid, some idiot's going to make a throw some cheese on a video. Now, this I was could before, be that idiot. This before Kanye flipped it, right? Maybe. I don't, right. Yeah, maybe, probably. Yeah, okay. She's and I was, like, I was like, some idiot's going to do throw some cheese on it. So I, I'm going to tell you the real bullshit of throw some cheese on a video. There's another version of it that mm. came out after mine that's fucking horrible. And it's a cartoon. It's fucking horrible. And somehow the dudes who did it, and it came out well, uh, you know, a few weeks after mine, it ended up getting placed above mine. Really? And on it, YouTube. It, got, it, it ended up getting millions of views, yet I've never heard a motherfucker reference that one. It's always my shit that they're referencing. And I've had big time people reference to fucking throw some cheese on a video. Right. Like, we went all the way in with it. I was like, if we do it big enough, we can get a look out of this. So literally, I was like, let's buy mad fucking cheese. But I, mad I cheese, my, you had some nice chicks in there too. My fiance. Mm -hmm. Chicks kissing chicks. My fiance. Was your, was your fiance one of the chicks yes. kissing chicks? Still more what? She didn't kiss a chick. But she's like sucking cheese provided. No, who, okay, that, that's your fiance. Yeah. Who was the chicks that were kissing each other, man? They weren't kissing. They were like close to. Oh, they, they were her, my fiance's crazy friend who was from back in the day who's super hot. Is she high. still available? She, I'm sure. She's pretty nuts. Nice. <laughs> and then my, my other friend, name? Emma, who's super fucking hot, this Asian chick. I, I had a, it was only three girls. Right. They were very hot. Um, no, they were hot because they then, were all throughout the video. And then, that's all, and then we got mad cheese and just actually put in the work. And honestly, that's how Ebro saw me mm. was that stupid fucking video. And I was like, I prayed. So all of these that. years that you spent in radio, that's the shit that got the cheese. attention. The cheese. 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 And, and, and the funny thing is that Ebro always makes fun of me because he's like, I brought like you that. up here to do viral videos right. and make more of these. I haven't made one. <laughs> I, made I was, was going to ask you. Yeah, I was going to ask you. When are you going back to that, man? If the right thing came along that I felt was like it would be amazing, I don't want to just do some whack shit. Right. Cause like, and now you're being more scrutinized too. Everyone's gonna be like, "Is this? If this is not good, it's horrible." Right. And so like, I've thought of some, but they're too late. So if the right one, now the only ones I do that I actually really like, but they're light work, are like on Thanksgiving. I do a thing like this year. I did Drake headlines, and mm. we played on the air. We played like every day leading right. up to Thanksgiving, and it's just me rapping about food. It's still funny, right. and I, I fucking crack up at them. But it's not taking on something. Like the Duke one, the Duke one was like, I'm gonna, I hate Duke. Universe, well, that was, a, yeah, yeah, and I'm gonna make this a. But that was literally pinpointed. I was sitting in a bar watching Duke. I was like, man, if someone made the right fuck Duke video, so many of us hate Duke. Mm -hmm. Like everyone who doesn't go to Duke hates, hates fucking Duke. That's a yeah. That's a t yeah, that's a touch point. That's like that's it. Fuck, you, hating Duke is like uh, kind of liking the Yankees. It, you could do it. Well, you could do a Yankees video. You could mm. do a Cowboys. Not video, a Redskins. You could do a Duke video. No, no one gives a fuck about the Redskins. No, they don't. Um, who's your team? Giants. You know that. I forgot. About that. <laughs> and listen, all I have to say to you is one thing for this year. 28-14. Make okay. it right when you play us next time. You know what I'm saying? Because opening week of the season, yeah. <laughs> shitty-ass Giants got smashed by the Reds. But the Giants are playing great ball, and I love Vic I love a lot of the players of the Giants, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, That's a pause. Dude. That's a pause right there. That is a pause. a bunch of players on the Giants. 
Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take and he it. likes wrestling. I mean, listen, uh, Ro- Ro- you know you know what's good about Rosenberg? He has a multi-dimension. That's what I think that... But I think most of us do. Right? In a, in a sense. I'm, I'm not, I'm, but we're not talking about most of us. Exactly. We're talking about Rosenberg. Exactly. my spot. Okay, combat, okay, Jack. okay, okay. okay. My, my, my bad. This my bad. guy... Continue. This guy loves cheese. And wrestling. <laughs> fucking the, red, the and sucky Redskins. He's wearing a capital hat. <laughs> cheese. He's fucking Asian oh, women. Asian women. Hey, who doesn't love Asian I, women? I mean, though? he likes wrestling, who hard body. Wait, wait, wait. Who doesn't love Asian women? I mean, I do, but... Everyone loves Asian women. Everyone, everyone loves Asian women. Okay. Everyone loves but Asian but women. Who, who's talking about Asian women? We're talking about wrestling. Are you we're trying talking... to sun the wrestling interest? That's what no, it sounds no, no. like. I, I, well, I give it credit because, you know what? I think that you found, like they were talking about before, you found the lane where other people, because everyone's doing the same shit. Uh, and then some people are doing different shit. And then when they, I, I think some people don't like to accept new people. Is, and new is that stuff. what made you an action kind of cl- uh, click? Actions while yeah. wrestling references. And the funniest thing is the oh, the first time we oh, we've only discussed wrestling in like these really brief texts. Like right. he was like, "Yo, you got to hear this. What you got to hear what Barry Horowitz said yeah, about sent me the clip." And then the other day, he this is Action Ronson. The other day. We're talking about my Hanukkah party, which is Thursday, December 15th, next Thursday at SOB's. Next Thursday at SOB's? Yes, and I had to take Action Bronson off the flyer because he has another show coming up, but he's not performing at the show. You're having a Hanukkah party. And Action Bronson is preparing and serving potato latkes at the what? Hanukkah party. What? At the Hanukkah yes. party. Action Bronson is preparing. Oh, we got to go, man. We got to go. Yes. We gotta go. Yes. Uh, what, 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 what do we bring, man? What do we bring uh, for a Hanukkah party? gets you in free. A toy with a value of fifteen dollars. No uh, dreidels, though. Before it gets you free. Can we bring, you can bring dreidels? Okay. Why not? Fuck it. We're gonna have menorahs. Can uh, I bring matzo ball soup? Uh, it's not a Hanukkah. Pause. It's a lock- <laughs> it's is Hanukkah. Yeah. Um, Joel Ortiz is headlining. Nice. Uh, Bronson, uh, Homeboy Sam, and Kid Daytona. All my reg, all my people. Yeah. are gonna be there. Um, but that we've this the other day he says we text and he goes. About to watch the best of ECW at the Elks Lodge. <laughs> Yo, I'll tell you one thing. Like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> if, if the internets ever get a chance, check out the video I seen of Rosenberg interviewing Iron Sheik, the legend Iron Sheik. That, that awesome. shit had me dying. And anybody who watches, I guarantee you, will be like, he calls, he, he calls Cypher Sounds out. It's amazing. Let me ask you, man. Um, how you you've been a wrestling fan for for forever, right? Well, I took off. I was I, I was out from the years of like ninety one to two thousand. Five. I was only like you know a regular like most people are. Right. I used to be into wrestling. Oh, who's that? The Rock, Stone Cold. Okay, but I was out for a long time. Right, right. right. Then I got back into it because of radio shit. It's funny, man, because in in hip hop culture right now, you see a lot of resurgence. Like Dallas and I talk about. You know, we're I'm, we're, we're comic book heads. You know what I'm saying, and I same see, thing as wrestling, by the way. And, and 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 right now, it seems like all of these things are coming to the surface, man. And and it, it seems like you were there early, so that you're not. It doesn't look like you're jumping on the bandwagon. But how do you explain like this resurgence of wrestling and hip hop, man? Besides me, no, besides you, I take absolute there's a credit lot of, for it. There's a lot of cats I know <laughs> that are into you wrestling. Did this. Like, I, I heavy. Do. Yo, listen, everyone always gives me a hard time at the station because I'm always claiming shit. Right, you have to. Yeah. You have to own shit. Yeah. Someone's gonna own shit. There's certain like phrases, like for example, there are many phrases that site fights me all the time that I claim to have invented. Mm-hmm. Hip hop nerd. Hip-hop I believe nerd. I coined the phrase hip hop okay. nerd many, many years ago. I, I truly believe it in my heart of hearts. Okay. If you believe it, you can achieve it, right? Who, who yeah. do you have a better relationship with? You a cipher or you and K Fox? Who do I have a better relationship yeah. with? Well, that's a great question. We have very different relationships. Um I would say they're equally strong. Saif and I are connected indelibly, though, in a different way. The Juan Epstein. Mm. Pause. Oh, damn it! <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Because, because you said indelibly. Indelibly. Connected dude. indelibly. That's, I, that sounds like they were, That sounds like the ball sacks touch. That, that only happens when ball sacks touch. Okay, so that's. Yeah, that needs to be pulled. If you know there's face masks, there's the fi- there used to be the five yard variety. That was the fifteen yard variety. That was the fifteen yard variety. Um, so I have great re- I have a great relationship with both of them. Pause. Uh, Fox is uh, I think of her like a sister, and uh, you know, like listen, they're the women of my life are my wifey, my mother, my sister in law, and Kate Fox. You nice. know what I'm saying? Those are the four women nice. of my that's life. Nice. And, and, uh, nice. So she, she's very dear to me. But Saif and I. We are kindred spirits. We are very different in a yep, million yep, ways, yep. but we also have these real similarities. But, but yeah, I do. I do think the wrestling thing is. I think you're right. I think 
hip hop's so fucking generic y and mainstream now that people are starting to look to the nerdier subcultures as what's cool. And, you know, there'll probably be other douchebags that are going to get to be the face of it instead of us. I mean, I'm trying my hardest to make sure I am the face but of it. But, like you said, you got to claim it, claim it, man. God, listen, I, I own that shit. I, 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 listen, wrestling's the only thing that I'll still be like hitting people like, yo. Is, do you have a backstage pass for me? You have a backstage pass for me? I need to get back. Like, a backstage pass in wrestling isn't like backstage pass in a hip-hop show. Hip -hop. It's like the fucking... It's like the holy grail. Mm. Because they don't really let people backstage like that. So, when you have that... I got one at WrestleMania this year. I was wow. like, that's my holy that's fuck. It. That's well, it, well, well, I mean, craft services, out of control, cutting boards. Yo, the, for me, the illest shit, honestly. <laughs> I man said cutting. <laughs> I never fuck with their craft services. Mm. I really am. I'm, when I'm back there, I'm super nervous because usually I have all these relationships within the WWE, but I always get the pass from some shady other mm. random, a wrestler or someone. <laughs> so you have to play it low key when you're back so there. So you get the pass like on some steroid shit. <laughs> Exactly. It's like someone handing off the needles. Now, now let me ask you something. If, Yo, wait, hold on, hold on. One thing. Your, your guys are telling me that you got to go. No, I'm good. I'm good. You, you good? sure? Are you guys good? I I got, I got any weed? Is there any weed? We yes. can go all oh, there's weed. We, we, have, we, have, we have this weed. weed. I got we go. have white boy weed. We got white boy yes, weed? Yes, right and we have white, weed. right. Exactly. White boy How weed. How about this? You, yeah. wait, should you guys play music or something? Yeah, we do. So you want to play a few minutes of music? I'm going to smoke a little bit of weed, just a little bit. Okay. And then I'll come back and hang out to like 12, 15. So sure. Is that cool? Yeah, well, so we got technically, like 20 minutes? technically the show is usually over. Oh, it's today, over? But we can wait. We well, I don't want to. I don't want to. Rosenberg is going to smoke some weed and come back. Yes, that's when you get the best of Rosenberg. Then then we're gonna hold on, hold on. Yeah. that has to mean that. Real quick, are there any other serious questions you have? No other serious questions. Nothing. You're not going to try to bait I, me I, into I some all, serious. I ran out of all my questions, dude. I, as I long as we, we don't have, I, I, mean, I don't have a serious question. Okay, long as long as there's nothing like that's going to get me to say something insane. No, no, we, about I'm, someone else who I dislike no, already. No, no, no. Okay. As a matter of fact, we're going to go to our music. Have you ever kissed Miss Info? Come on. And then I we're, we're going to wrap the show up. Perfect. I'll come right. back and wrap up with you guys. Definitely, man. Boom. Pause. There you go. Internet, you're tuned into the Combat Jack Show featuring Dallas Penn, www.pncradio.fm. F your radio. F your radio. That's a blast. The Combat Jack Show featuring Dallas Penn, PNC Radio. Yo, why did you just actually tweet at me, man? And she wants to come on the show again, man. Let's, let's definitely um, carve some time for him to come through, man. So everybody all right, man? Feeling great. Nice. I, think, I think this is the first time the Combat Jack show featuring Dallas Penn took a weed break, an official weed break. Official Who would have thought it would be me? That was oh, a programmed weed break. A programmed weed break. Thank you, Peter. So, 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 Thank so you, everybody's Peter. good? Yeah. Good, man. Well, um, how do we wrap up a show after a weed break, man? Usually we wrap up the show. I feel, Before like we, the weed I feel break. like we could go like another two hours. I can't That's go, the thing I, about the weed break. I, I can't go another two hours. Yeah, no, I got to go to sleep. What is going on here? I, yeah. If I'm not asleep by one, I'm... Yeah, how do you like waking up so early, Pete? I don't. Like, how when is that you, shit? What, do you ever sleep? I sleep from about uh, 12.30 to 4.30 or 5. Nap? And then, yeah, nap. And then I nap in the afternoons. And then I come home. I'm, I'm dedicated to that nap. Right. I, I'm, I take that serious. Would like, you say that hours. Peter Rosenberg fucks? With naps. <laughs> I, it's so funny. I just saw a comedian do some shit about that. How he's like, when you get older, he's like, when you get older, uh, so I think it was Steve Wilson. He's like, as you get old, you're like, napping becomes so important to you that you talk about it like it was yeah. sex. Like you're like, yo, but, but I, I mean, just got it in <laughs> two hours of sleep. Yeah, but if you got to be up, if you if you got to be up at that early, you're definitely not having sex at that weight, right? That is a constant issue. That is a difficult. Figuring out sex time is hard when you have those hours. Because I told my, but, girl, I mean, just be happy actually figuring out sex time. Right? I, it's hard to even like I said to her the other day. I said I'm gonna be honest with you because she was complaining to me the other day about yet today about me not putting it down this week. Right. I'm like, listen. I'm not going to lie to you. When I'm being honest, I'm apologizing to you because there were a couple of times when I was feeling myself getting to where pause. I wanted to. No, this is no, 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 no dude. heterosexual no, pauses thank ever. You. Thank you. All right. Pick up the flag. Pause, Debbie. Turn his mic off. <laughs> Take his gun away. So I was like, I, I noticed that I was nearly ready. Right. And I intentionally pushed it away to mm. go to sleep like mm. I, I need to if i don't that makes sense though i mean that makes sense me it, that shit is brutal b if you get past that point of like past 1 a.m to 2 a.m when you wake up it's just not right and when right. i get to the station i'm not right especially tonight a night like tonight's not bad but if you've been out all night like i was resting before i came here mm -hmm. like if you if you've been out all night and then you show up at the station 
I it's I always know when one of our coworkers, one of my coworkers shows up and they haven't slept. It's like, mm. the fuck, were you doing last night? Yeah. And it's a, so to be on point. I really I take the sleeping shit pretty pretty serious. Mm. You feel pressure, man, in terms of like the ratings, because I mean that's that's that spot, man. Yeah, that's I, that morning spot. Does does that really weigh on you? I mean, you look at the numbers. Yeah, ratings ratings are a bitch in radio, man. It's 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 uh it's like when they're when they're astronomical, you never get as much love as you feel like you should get. But when they're low, when they're not where they should be, you know you're going to worry about it and hear about it. Like, uh, uh, uh. Right. You know, that's the nature of the business. How do you? How are you tested? I mean, is it uh, through, uh, I mean, how do they serve? No, you guys not know how the radio, a lot of people don't know how radio ratings work. How and they, it just changed work? recently. It used to be a diary format where they would hand out diaries to people. They pay them a very small amount of money. Where are you willing to write down? Where you listen to the radio, mm-hmm. and so as it re- seems as very sub, I mean, super subjective, suspect, right? Suspect and subjective. Well, if you had an established, but they only paid him a small amount of money. Small. It wasn't like a, a, a high paying job where you would. They, they might get taken more seriously. Right. But as a result, what happened was big brands. If you had a big brand, well, big brands you would just came and helped. All, take, no, 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 no. A big their salary. No, no, no. If you had a big radio brand, oh. right? Hot ninety seven. Right for it, it, PGC when I was in DC. People would just say, I listen to Hot 97 all day long. When they, the system changed a few years ago and they made it uh, meters, actual little pagers people wear. Mm. And uh, essentially, black radio took the biggest hit because they struggle to find young black people who are trying to wear these fucking nerdy pagers mm. all day. Wow. So as a result... All the advertising city, do- dollars. A- a- every city, you saw the black stations like fall. Skytel two way joint. No, or it's like, like a yeah, it's like the big time port. Okay, okay. So you like open that al- shit. Was the Alpha Numeric where you got to type in hello? Where you got to type in four three seven seven zero? Well, this shit just picks up the radio. So right. wherever you are, so right. instead of it being a diary, it picks up your realistic habit. So if you're in a dentist's office and they're listening to the smooth jazz, that's what it picks it's up. Registering right. s- a smooth jazz. Now, it sounds like a great Ooh. system, except for the fact that the amount of people People they monitor. If I was to tell you how small it was for New York, you'd be flabbergasted. Fifty thousand? Oh, way less. Get wow. the fuck out I, of here. I don't know if I would be blowing up my spot by saying any more about it. I'll tell you off the air, but it's incredibly small. That's crazy. So literally, a few people changing their listening habits can affect your ratings, and as a result, you're like, "Fuck, are we really worrying about three people?" You know, what right. I'm saying? It's, it's a it's. So what you really have to do is just kind of believe it. Believe that it is reality and it is a measure of what everyone is, and act accordingly. You know, that's that's, and that's all you can really do. But it it can be uh, it can be some pressure. How, how is the relationship versus you know meaning you know the, with the power you know Breakfast Club and stuff like that versus I mean are you guys like cool? I don't, or- I don't have. I I was and put it this way, I was friends with Envy. And I think I will be again. Right. I was friends with Angela, and I think I will be again. I have no relationship with Charlamagne whatsoever. But like those two, I imagine at some point shit will be cool. Right. But the way I move and the way I feel about High 97 as a brand, and the fact that we're the only hip hop station that matters, and how much I believe that New York, we, New York is Hot 97, right. and we all know that. And so I, everyone grows up dreaming of being on Hot 97. What happened to BLS? Well, BL, listen, BLS and Kiss, <laughs> BLS and Kiss are epically W-B-L-S. important. Ep- they are. S. You cannot understate the importance of BLS of and Kiss and Kiss FM. Right. Well, Kiss when, FM. When did the relationship become tense? Kiss FM is your not crackhead. It's not, it's not tense. It's just that when you're, but uh, she could do a mean two step. If I have competition, <laughs> right. I this we can't really. I'm just not. I can't really be friend. I'll be friendly. Right. But not friends. You know, I, does that make sense? I, from the outside looking in, man, it seems like things got tense for me looking in. Like when that whole Mr. C thing popped off. Honestly, no. That okay. wasn't... I was very removed from that. Right. And, and I noticed that you guys did a good job of, of steering clear away from that. Yeah, and, and, you know, listen, it's tempting when there's a salacious story right. to want to be a part of it. Right. Um, Because you're like, shit, everyone wants to hear about this. But frankly, and you know me, I'm ready to go. For for Mr. C, for Flex, for the legends at my station, I'm I'm a frontline warrior. So I'm willing to go out. Mr. C warmed up the roots last night. Yeah. 
Peter Bro, Rosenberg well, brought the roots onto the stage. That, nice. that was very true. Nice. Highline ball. I will fucking for for the people at our it station. Happened. I would go to war, but I it just there. it wasn't. It, it didn't seem like something to address. So no, I didn't feel particularly tense then. I get that. That right. that shit's shit's radio, man. And yeah, people man. get and there's a, there's a sexy story out there for lack of a better word. Pause. When there's a story like that, that's that yeah, appealing. If it bleeds, that. it leads. Yeah, yeah. Is the is this which, is, which is fucked up. So that's how it is. But so no, we fell back. But no, I listen. I try not to have any tension in radio. You could be working with anyone at any moment, and I think people and it should, changes at any moment. And people right. should always remember that. Right. So you're never going to hear me come out of my mouth disrespectful about another radio personality. It's just it's it's, it's bad for business. What are you listening to these days, man? What are you really listening to? Um, Bronson. Mm-hmm. Hot that Bronson Static Selected shit. Is that, hot. That's a great album. Great album. Great album. album. Bronson, you know, Bronson is just he's the shit. Um, Doctor Lecter. I mean Bronson. Uh, Tommy Mas. Yeah. The weed. The weed. That was the weed. Was, was, the weed. was, was that, that the weed? Yeah, yeah. That just that just made me Tommy Mas on production for Doctor Lecter. Yeah. Killed it. Yep. Yeah. Killed it. I mean, sure Static. Ass. You know, what I mean, Static. You know what you're gonna get with Static. But shout to Tommy Mas because he definitely. Open that lane up. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and Bronson sound right away from that shit, from right from the beginning. Exactly. Was yeah. So I think he's great. But you know, I'm I'm pretty. Uh, I listen to oh the Roots album's fucking awesome. I'm done. Um, I, I I feel like I get some flack for this, but I I really like the Childish Gambino album. Mm. Camp is Camp is. I listen to it. I listen to it from beginning to end. What you think? Um, I thought he was good. My son loves it, and I understand why my son loves it. Like that. That's his lane. But I mean, I please don't I, snore on on Gambino. I'm, I'm not mad at Gambino. No, and, and here's what I and here's what I, I listen. Anyone who I meet who has another lane where they're already popping in, yeah. and they're truly passionate nah, about he, it, I, mean, I, 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 I have a certain respect. You can't be mad at the dude. You cannot be mad at the, the dude. Can nah. spit, and he can you spit, and you know, he has a he has a song. I think people like him are very important. Yeah, and we talked. I have an interview on Hot97.com where we talked about it. The black nerd in hip hop is a dope thing to have. Yeah. And there are so many kids who aren't spoken to. And there's so many kids out there who are black nerds and who are like, I don't really fit into this shit that I'm hearing. Yeah, my son goes to private school. We usually listen to MOP. That's, 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 that's not his shit. Gambino talks about shit that they can relate to. Exactly. And he talks about the, the first song on the album, I think is it, Pitchfork panned the first song on the album. And it's insane because the first song on the album, he talks about really being from the hood and leaving and how that's family a, feels about that's you a when great, you leave. The one about him growing up in the projects and his parents. And then moved leave it out, and then they calling him an Oreo and all types of shit. That's it's real shit, yeah, man. It's and a, I, 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 I love the kid. And then when when my brother in law passed away, he was the first person who told me about Childish Gambino as my little brother in law. And when he passed away, I rest reached out peace. to him. Big rest in peace to Spencer Dat. And when when I, I reached out to Gambino, and I was like, Yo, peace. he loved you. He's the reason I know about your music. Right. That's dope. He's gave he sent me the fucking illest like sixty four bar verse. So right. they have they have a song together. So my my little brother in law who died in May. Had a song featuring his last name is Dat, right? Mm-hmm. So he did a freestyle before he passed away to Who Dat, mm. and he killed it. And um, I never really got to tell him about how much he killed it when he was alive, which which sucks. But I, I saw J Cole. He loved J Cole, and I talked to Gambino, and they both spit. So I have this song that's my brother-in-law featuring Childish Gambino and J Cole, and that's probably like the most meaningful thing I've ever done in hip hop. And the fact that Gambino was like, "It's done." That's dope. Met with my saw my girl recently. My girl was crying when she saw him. That's good. Talk to that's her. That's good. You can make that's a good deal, bro. Feel good shit, man. So I, I, I'll always have love for Gambino for how he looked out. But I really think the album's pretty pretty dope. What's next for you, man? Let's let's wrap this up, man. What's good? What's next? For you man really the 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 my number one priority is to make this radio show kill so i have it forever and ever right uh, i want this i want to be sitting in the seat till i'm till i'm old and uh that's so i want to do that but i tv is next man TV's next. like i don't know if you know i don't know if you guys noticed i'm down about you know 20 pounds 21 pounds i, I noticed that man. i'm in that gym hey, hey listen what, what happens if the wrestling federation gives you a call would you leave would you leave everything would you leave all the childish gambinos all the all the late night with peter rosenberg the morning show with cypher no. and k fox no would you go in there and and, and and you know i know you probably oh, no, go- i'm going to work there i will be- are you gonna wrestle in the future right. you will see me get my ass beat one day you- on wwe television but i will still be doing radio if you wrestle what would be your finishing move uh the hand job what oh. Whoa! Whoa! Go all the way. That's how I end it. That's how I'm gonna end it. A 
ejection. Whoa. Game ejection. Uh, they, they would be like, yeah. they would be like, what's he doing? They'd be like, what's he doing? What is Rosenberg doing? Imagine, why is he grabbing his pants? Please don't do it again. Imagine, yo, yo imagine, the, imagine Ross and Jerry Lawyer was saying oh. after he knocked him down, here he comes with the hand job. <laughs> so TV, huh? TV, though, I, I want to be, um, I want to be the, I want to be the real national voice for the kind of music that we love. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, a voice who can talk about hip hop at large and entertainment at large, but whose agenda is for the good of hip hop. Nice. And I want to, I think I could do a lot for the good if I was in that place. And fuck, I want to make TV money and have a second stream of money because radio is a volatile business. Woo! So TV wanna, money! Well, well, I see that happening, man. I definitely see that happening. I hope so, man. man. Well, hope good so. luck with that, man. Thank you. And I really appreciate you guys giving me the forum to come in and like, to, you know, tell my story a little bit. And, um, like, you know, let people actually know who I am, who might have not fucked me before, and not try to, um, y'all didn't try to hit me with any random shit to Come get me on, in trouble. And I Come on, it. baby. Or that's jump that, you. That's not what we or do. Jump that's me. not what so we far. do here. That's not what we do here, man. No, and, no, and honestly, is, and let me tell you, the show sounds, I know that you're an aspiring radio person. Yes. Bro, and the shit sounds really good, man. Well, thank you, and you man. have a natural, uh, leading role. I appreciate the research and, like, actually doing it. You know, who the fuck am I? You don't have to do it. You're going to shot the shit. You're going to do an interview, and I, I really appreciate that. No, man. This is what we do, man. Well, anytime you got something that you want to, you know, leak out, man, let us know, man. Pause. Yes. Is that a pause? <laughs> yes, that is. Yes, that is. <laughs> on that, that note, the leaks here. On that note, leaks. man, it's been good to have awesome you, man. Leaks. Peter Rosenberg. Thank you, Red. Appreciate it. Now, Thanks, likewise, Dallas. Thanks, Pete. Everyone. Likewise. Yeah, 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 yeah. In Dallas, Dallas, man. Another combat, one. Combat. Another one in the can. Another one in the can. Another one in the can, Inside man. Inside the can. Yeah, man. What's next? I mean, another one. Another one. It won't stop. Yo, you're so mellow right now. You are so mellow. I, I, I got right the now. best spot. You got the best spot. I got the best spot. I'm just chilling like a <laughs> fly on the wall. He is Dallas like, so hard right like, now. I'm just uh, a big fly <laughs> on the wall. All right, man. So let's take, let's take this show out, Loving man. Loving hip-hop. There you go. Internets. All right, man. Listen, a busy weekend coming up. Uh, sneaker Con. Sneaker Con. Yes. This weekend. Um, also this weekend. Um, the weekend. The weekend. The weekend. They be loving the crew. The weekend. And okay. then next week. I mean, internet's get, you know, spend this money. This next week. Next week we got Star Buckwell. Star Buckwell oh, next really? week. Yo, ask, ask, Star, ask Star what he thinks of me. I will. I mean, he probably sent the shit out of me. The only time I've seen Star I mean, in public, I first of all didn't recognize him because he's, he's mad skinny. I didn't, he lost I didn't a lot of weight. Yeah. Lot of weight. And he literally stepped on my shoe in the most flagrant. Like I'm not. A, he I'm did not, that shit. No, listen. I'm not the dude and do the right thing. Right. Like, I don't. Yeah. I don't really trip off. You don't step that. on someone's. Sneakers. It was fl- no, no. He held it. What? Oh, he did. He didn't twist it. Did and he? I was like, I'm thinking for something. Did he twist his? You feet? know why he did like, that? He shit? has to know what shoes did you have on. Oh, they were definitely Jordans of some variety. Oh, okay. You don't know which Jordan. You know why he did it that shit? It wasn't my most special, I don't think. But you know why he did that shit? Because you didn't have Dominican Drew and your other man. I know. You? Yeah. That's I was why. alone. But I, 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 I respect the shit out of what Star <laughs> did. So I would, I'd be curious to hear what he said. Because nah. like he was, he was I'm a definitely going to ask him about that We're going to have man. DJ Envy here, too. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't have anything to add to that. Tell him what's up, man. Yeah. Yo, Ben Hameen, what you, you, did, you played a nice set, man. I don't know if this mic works. Is it working? Am I being heard? Yes, I'm being heard. Ben, I'm nice. So I, have my, I have my own mic. Wow. Peace, Peter Rosenberg. Peace out. DC in the house. Yo, that's a mean uh, Crooks and Castles, by the way. Thank you very much. Where'd you Hope- get that from, man? Um, I got this down in DC at Commonwealth, actually. That's nice, man. That's a nice yep. shirt, man. Shout out to Commonwealth. Um, Yo, you played a nice set, man. UGK all the way, man. Yeah, a little UGK, a little sample set before that. You know, some originals. Then we got some LEP Bogus Boys. Some there Big you go. Crit. There you go. You know, various, you know. Shout artists. town. Oh, shout out to Hash Brown. I played his stuff on the radio. He's straight out of Houston, Texas. Mm. You know, big dude. He got a project out this week, Break Something. that's really nice. Check that out on PleaseDon'tStare.com. All right. Um, I really don't, you know, I do, you know. Shout outs to Preezy the Kid. Shout outs to a kid named Henny. Shout outs to Devi. Shout outs to Always Ambitious. He wrote his first piece today. Shout out to my man Jack the Joker. You know, Jack the Joker. Is that, is that Preezy the Kid. Jack the Joker. Nah, Jack the Joker is good. It's good. Joker. No pause. No pause. Okay. Crazy the kid. Respect the shooter. You know. All right. All right. Shout out to LYC. There you go. Um, I'll be in DC this All weekend. Right. Probably Sutra okay. Lounge. You know, you can catch me there. All right. All right. That's it. There you go. Yep. Holla. There you go. This, I'm, I'm just mine. Oh, you gonna drink the whole thing? Yeah, he's hey, a man, killer. See, I haven't had any, man. Oh. All right. That's fair enough. 
combat. Yes, sir. Man, I mean, it just seems like these shows just keep it on getting, getting better, 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 man. man. We I had mean, some great guests, man. LMP. Yeah, I'll tell you. I mean, I'm Bro, just prepared. It's real gracious, it's too, man. best show ever. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, just showing Urban Radio. Yeah. I'm just Word preparing, man. Uh, it's one of many great shows. But it's one of the best shows ever. Internet's you, you right here. I mean, I don't even want to call it, but it's happening right here, and you're here with us. And it don't stop. And it won't stop. It can't stop. If yeah. I stop, it will It will not Rock stop. Rockefeller Records. <laughs> if you stop, it will not Rock stop. Remix. But listen, I mean, like I said, I, don't you know, stop. I, I'm just preparing for the weekend, man. Yes. Uh, celebrating an early birthday with the family. When's your birthday? Uh, the 17th. Okay. Uh, reason being is because I'm out to Texas for my birthday. Wow. Uh, Yo, yeah. get, you you going to see Bun B? Absolutely, man. Okay. We, 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 we're going to have a, a combat, party. Combat. Can you tell the internet, internet, get ready for the Combat Jack show featuring Dallas Penn in Texas, 2012, South by Southwest. We are coming That's for coming. you. That's coming. That's coming. We are coming for it's you. Coming. We are yep. coming for your internet. There you go. South by Southwest. There you go. Yes. Yeah. I mean, like I said, that'll be, I mean, I'll be here next week after the day after the, we have the legendary Star and Buck Wow Combat Jack show, Dallas Penn, PNC Radio, Matt Rez, Ben Hami, A King. Premium P. I'm jumping on the plane, uh, the Excellent. next day and, Excellent. and spending my birthday well, weekend with my fellow well, Texans. Well, let's have a ball. Yeah, pause. Next week. Yeah. Matt. Yo. Had a good time? Of course, always. You got yeah. everybody high, man. I mean, you know, I, I, I've, heard, I've heard as much. Yeah. I, I don't want to speak to that on the air, but it might have just happened. There you go. But uh, thank you for everyone for listening. Continue to follow me on Twitter, M A W T R A Z. And uh, if you're in town tomorrow night, my uh, my rapper friend Mayhem Loren has a performance at South Ball. Yeah, how much it is? It, you have enough money. It will be affordable, yep. and there will be great rapping. If you wear Bondu- South Ball is the only place I've been to where they actually sometimes negotiate. What you have in your pocket or what the fee is, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen that happen at South Park. Yeah. Like somebody has seven fifty or something. Like, you know, five, I got five dollars and a like, metro right, card. I'll let you in and then oh, okay, that's cool. Usually so tomorrow it's night. Not, not too much uh, bullshit at the door at South Park. Exactly. Good venue. Hey King, how we do, man? Classic. Classic? Shout out to the L E P bogus boys, Shot Peter Town. Rosenberg. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Combat. I, I, I heard that. Super I, shout out. I hear Super shout out. our show was the first show to play the uh, Lupe song. Yeah, a lot of people was like, yo, rip that. Rip it. <laughs> you want to play that but when we wrap it up? Let's play it one more time. Uh oh. I you didn't rip it? Nah. No, no, it, it came off. It came yeah. off uh, his uh, hard drive. Pause. Yeah, but why don't you just slide it to the desk? But I think th- that record was on. Is on their project. The the new project. The now and never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's on that. It's sure. Super producer so. AK yeah, yeah, in the right. building. Right. Went the, the folder and shit like that. Super producer. Anyway, man. Yep. Listen, it was a good show. I mean, I I keep hearing great things. You know, always ambitious is in the house. You know, he's been hanging around right, here the past couple of now. weeks. You know, he's, he wrote a piece today for Please Don't Stare. You know, the nice. team gets bigger and bigger. Got a nice team. Don't pause. Don't pause. Don't pause. No, I just want to know if Always Ambitious is, is going to take the place of the shooter, uh, Preezy the Kid. Nah, nah, nah nobody shooter can not be replaced. Nobody, nobody, nobody I, think ever. I think he's plotting on something else. You know, I, I, his nails look, are cleaner. It, 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 it'll come special. out. It'll come out. I think it'll come out. Two for one special. I'm just right. a little nervous, Combat, because I, I'm, I'm being honest with you, man. Preezy, I really think that he, he, he no he's gone now. No uh, nah, he's coming back. He'll be back. I gave him my word that he, he's not washing like he used to anymore. I gave him my word that, <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, Preezy, I miss you, man. I'll send you sneakers, whatever you need, Preezy. All right, guys, listen. Dream them Stay dreams, up, brother. Dream them dreams and a man up and <laughs> yo. <laughs> dream them dreams and man up and live them dreams, because a life without dreams is black and white, and the universe flows in technicolor. And surround sound blow blow internet. Luminati. So, you're.